What up, party people? How is everyone? I hope you had a pleasant day. It is good to see you as always. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to refill an e-cig real quick, and then we're going to... Well, quite frankly, try to remember where the hell we... Oh, right, it's this part. we got to go turn on a power thingy to do a thing. I, I forget why we need power. We need power, and we have to go through here to turn it on. And there's a bunch of assholes stuck to the wall. Speaking of assholes, my wife told me a great insult. It's, uh, God ruined a per- Ah! Fuck, you found me! God ruined a perfectly good asshole by placing, uh... Teeth in your mouth. It would have been a smoother delivery if this asshole hadn't attacked us. Anyway. Let us go! Let us go! I'm gonna go explore this hole! Hey yo! Hey yo! Yeah, dog, I hear you. I just don't care. Oh, I remember this part. It's like, yeah, you gotta like sneak and shit. Now jump onto the platform and totally alert the butt face over there that you're here. Did he just eat somebody? Oh no, he went for a vent. Okay. What a really weird noise. Splashy slurp! That's there is. Oh, these ones aren't blind. Oh. Don't lose your head, bro! What happened to all the blind guys we were supposed to crouch to avoid? Remember that? Now all of a sudden everyone can see and they're all running at us. I mean, I guess good for them. It's, you know. Well, let's see what we got here. We got one of them there exploding. Oh, here we go. We got a hole in the wall. Let's go right through that hole. Ugh, it's a really tight fit in this hole. Want your bloody grip battery? You can keep the piece of shit. Fat man squeeze. It's like being born, but different. Sorry, where the fuck are we now? Well, right, looks like we only got one way to go. How do we get to do it? Uh... Right, oh, never mind, another hole. Whee! Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I wonder if these guys were alive. 
right? Like they're mutated, but they're they're immobile for some reason, or if they just fucking like the virus didn't take, so they died. Like mid mutation. God, are we there yet? Oh. Hey, buddy. Well, good morning. Is he following us? That's another one of the sleepers. Well, there's a staircase. That's probably our way out. Hey, wait, let's see what's over here. What's over here? Got ourselves one of them there fancy blue lights. Can I, can I push open? Is that... How does open? Because it's that cult. That's a little symbol there. Oh, we just go around. So just make the fucking door open. I, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's stupid, but it's fine. Oh, fucking rude. And stomp. Ah, stomp. So does the super CPU printer print CPUs, or is it the CPU for a printer? I have questions. Not good questions. I don't necessarily need answers. I'm just I'm curious. Who leaves their wallet behind at an office meeting? Alright, now I was curious about something, so let's see. Uh, I gotta figure out where it is, though. Secret room 2. They're separated? God damn it, I wanted to play them back to back. Field logs. Okay, so, oh, shit. So we know where Yannick Sage... I think it was... The, wasn't it the boss's aftermath, maybe? Duncan Cole. Secret Room 1. This will be my final report from here. The tower renovations are nearly complete. And the program. Reactivated under the supervision of Dr. Mahler. And what do you hope to achieve? Results. After decades of misguided research, don't you see? Evolution doesn't happen in the lab. It happens in the wild. Girl, you wild. Okay. And then we'll go to below. Oh. And listen to the Onyx Sage tape. Dope. I had no choice, couldn't let it spread. Well, we were all disposable, of course, but what we found, what I found, could be the key to everything. I must contact the circle. All right, so that didn't actually give us. A whole hell of a lot of backstory to it. Hoping it would clear some things up, but uh, yeah. Alright, where was that staircase? There it is. Alright, where are we going? Alright, where are we? This is not the area we left from. Ooh, but there's a shop. The GC is here for you. I mean, it's a printer, but come on, it's a shop.
All of our shit's too expensive right now. Let me. I push a button. Guys, you broke it. Come on. To flip those breakers. To turn on the generator. I'll flip your breaker, big boy. So there's our first breaker switch. And of course someone's gonna attack us right about here, or are you gonna wait till after? I don't wait till after. Hey. Not really how wires work, but that's fine. Look, buddy, you're Jesus. Maze, y'all didn't see me, but oh wait, right, you're blind. My bad. Maze, you don't hear each other die? That, that, that's a little weird, right? Like, I'm not exactly quietly executing these fuckers. Should be going through the ribs, but, you know. It, it's like Jacob is obsessed with making as much noise as is possible. Seven is bought! Oh, okay. There, now you're all together. Alright, let's activate the breaker! Okay, you want to go? Find the Thoid Breaker! Find the Tie Breaker! What the fuck is happening, Jacob? What are you doing? Man, that horrible monstrosity had a wife and kids. Oh, what, you think zombies can't have families? Broaden your perspective, bro. Come on. Zombie... Oh, never mind, I wouldn't say that. But, like, zombies have lives, too. They, they have interests. They have hobbies. I'm, admittedly, most of it's murder and cannibalism related, but, you know, still. Zombies got hopes and dreams. They hope they find a victim. They dream of tearing that victim apart like, you know, a taffy pulling machine. For the younger set, look it up. I'm not, I'm not sure how often people see taffy pullers anymore. Oh my god, how many of you are there? Feel this easy to bloody kill, just don't fucking put too many of them there, I get bored. Well, there's your problem. My fucking knife in your face. No, not the goddamn battery pack. There we go. All right, let's continue. Where is the thingy? I need to pull on that thingy. That's what she said.
I don't know why, but that thing doesn't look safe for me. It's just the shape. It's very bomb-shaped, I feel. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yep, wait, what? Where are we up? Nope, nope, just wait, right? Nope, maybe, nope, yep, nope, nope, yep, nope, yep, nope, yep, 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 nope, yep, yep, nope, yep, nope, yep, this way. I think. Zombie, eat flesh. Man. All right, never mind. Jacob? Are you there? Maybe. The power just came on in the colony. I, I'm boosting the signal. So you're saying this is a booty call? To the colony now. I'll contact you once I'm there. Gotta stay quiet for now. Oh shit! Be careful. We'll see you soon. Again, it's a really sudden turnaround. You two hated each other, and all of a sudden you're like, "But we're buddies, and I hope you're okay." Fucking since when? Because you agreed not, agreed not to kill each other, all of a sudden you're homies? So like, well, I don't think that's how that works. There are a lot of people have agreed not to kill. I mean, I fucking like any of them. How dare you mount my face, you fuck! Hey, bud. I don't want that fucker in the background mutating. And I think we avoided that. All right, now you guys done being assholes? Can I can I continue on now or? Do you still have a little bit of ass hollery about you? No? We good? Okay. What? What? No. No. So I don't have to pick you up? So I can stream? Okay. I'm grab some of the ones off the thing. Huh? Baby, die, die, die! No, I love you. All right, so I think we're almost done. Just gotta follow this a little bit. You know, fuck it. I don't care. If there's monsters here, we'll fight them. I don't give a shit. I'm bored of crawling, it's taking forever. Although now here, there's definitely going to be monsters here, so we'll crawl through here. Batteries! He just crawled out of a butt crack. Look at that. Weird. I guess everybody's got to have a hobby. Hey, rude. Too close. Your mom's too close. For something, Making I don't selection. know. Select. Uh, your mama's stinky ass. We do have an asinine amount of assault rifle ammo. I guess we'll just keep using that. 
and nothing to sell. I remember this part. It sucked, and we died a lot. Let's see if we can not do that this time. Engaging engine one. Great staging. Okay, here we go. Next stop. Focus. Station. Don't tell me to live my life. I'll put the hell I want. Alright, so if you're not familiar with the game and you're not entirely sure what's going on right now, they're all coming out with their chesticles out, and if you can pop their chesticles before they fucking mutate, then that's one shot kill. So I'm saving for all the chesticles. That one I didn't get to in time. Well, damn. Our uh, fucking things out. I was gonna grip him and throw him into the fucking big blade of death back here. But oh well, it's fine. Operators must wear protective gear at all. The unavoidable fate of Two Face. Oh! On the bright side, he can harmonize by himself, right? It's like super cheesy pizza. Oh, don't pick at it. That's how you get infections. Oh, come on, buddy. Beat you like you owe me money. Hey, where'd Tommy go? Timmy was left back there. Oh, look at his feet. It's so fucking weird. Got foot coming out of his calf muscle. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Mostly because he's dead. If, if he weren't dead, it would not be fine at all. It would be problematic, but yeah. I can't really hate too much on a dead dude. Well, I mean, I can, but... The main point is that he's not my fucking problem anymore, so... Okay. 
All right, we got Amy. We killed some dudes, and now we can dip off into the Arcus colony. Mm, girl, I'd arc your colony. I don't know what that meant. Uh, it's fine, whatever. Door open! <laughs> the door is ajar. The door is ajar. Colony. Yeah, that's what I said. Danny, I made it. Great. Where are you? Somewhere I don't know. Service tunnel. I'm on the other side. Just keep going. You're almost to the colony. How the fuck do you know? Were you in the colony? You know, 90 years ago? How the fuck do you people have any idea where anything is? I'm just curious. Or for that matter, where other people are. It's not like fucking Dead Space where you're watching a computer monitor and you're like, oh, that's where you are. You know what I'm saying? She's fucking guessing. She doesn't know where I am. Mine. No, they told us, man. A new life awaits. <laughs> yeah, right, man. More like the same old shit. <sighs> Look, I promise I'll get you out here real soon. Okay, right, I miss you. He's sending that message to his dog, which is sweet. What's in the pop 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 box? What? In the pop 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 box? Box 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 the motherfucking box. Box 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 Pristine CPU printer. I'm a climb. I'm a climbing fool. Watch my ass climb. I'm a climbing fool. the colony where are you see that light tower no Meet me there light tower got it this colony seen better days shit's falling apart all day damn it redundant fuck we oh that's right this game doesn't have a slide down the ladder mechanic like Elden Ring Lame. Sure. Yeah, I'm getting kind of used to shit falling apart around me. I mean, that might be how they feel about you. You don't know. Beeping at me for a phone. I've seen better days. No. No, I have no idea why my phone went off. Okay, let's ignore it. Oh, hey, what up, buddy? Stabby, stab, stab. Fucker. Hey, no item? That's okay, never mind. We're good. We're cool. Ooh, new episode of The Boys Gen V tomorrow. Yay!
Later, homie. Fucker. I said pick up the item, not get on the goddamn ladder, you dipshit. Oh, never mind. Uh, I think we're clear down here. Pretty sure. So, uh, look around, see if there's anything item wise we missed. You know. The hish. The hish. happy with me attacking their buddy out of nowhere, are they? I mean, to be fair, it was kind of a dick move, but still. Rude! Oh, no chesticles. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good room to play in, does it? Is there anything that looks like we might want to look at? No. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. It's not like the floor crawlers, they're annoying. Where are we supposed to be getting to? Guys, I'm lost. It's fine, it's just a kidney, you don't even need it. Stab it, stab, stab! Stop! Ah, stop! Elevator! Oh god, that's the good stuff. Oh, jello. Oh. Jello shots are so much better when you inject and threaten your bloodstream. Ass. I took it. Alright, where's your next? Security is seeming like a pretty strong bet, eh? Seems like we should probably go into security. I'm just thinking. UJC. Rations. Are you beer rations? That's pretty dope. Uh, fuck up perfectly good TV. It looks great on my family room wall. Anyway. Got it. I should head back to the elevator. 
Jacob. I found something. Was it the stick that's up Just your ass? up here. You need to see it. I ain't gotta see nothing. Later, buddy. Look, I didn't know he was your friend, okay? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not terribly sorry. I'm sorry you found out about it. Which is almost as good as being sorry, right? <laughs> I like it when the corpses bounce. Yeah, it's fine. I want the fucking credits anyway, dick. I'm so mad. Why, why even lock it? Buttons, pushing, 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 pushing buttons. Hey, we're going to high ten, man. Woo, high ten. Doesn't live here anymore. Keep out quarantine zone. Keep quarantine out zone. Mine. Sorry, buddy. I had no choice. Couldn't let it spread. Well, we were all disposable, of course, but what we found, what I found, it could be the key to everything. I must come. Okay, first off, I think he's part snake and he's about to swallow a rabbit. But other than that, how is he... He doesn't look like he's been down here. Like, his dialogue makes him sound like he's the one that told the Circle about the virus and about where to find it. But his corpse doesn't look old enough to be down here for the 90 years, you know? Like, all the other ones are shriveled husks. His is relatively fresh. does mildly look curb stomped, but, you know, it's... After being dead 90 years, let's see you look that good. Alright, where's this other dude? He making plenty of noise. There's ass up here somewhere. Well, hey, buddy. I don't, I don't want to alarm you or nothing, but it looks like you might have an infection spreading across your chest. Or really bad and weird acne. One of the two. Your, your leg's over there if you need it later. I'm sleepy. Okay, I guess we need to go this way. That makes sense, right? Because we want to go to high jam, man. Woo, high jam. <laughs> it's like the best time, man. Why isn't she responding? That's where the dispensary is. Maybe she's dead, dog. Get off her ass. Oh, 
Stabby stab stab! Outplayed this. gathering everybody up in the high town square for vaccinations. <laughs> We're finally getting out of here. Yeah, I can like with that. I mean, oh yeah, I guess I do gotta go. All right. This is either the apartment of a child or a very immature adult. And keep in mind, it's not a judgment thing. If I had the money, my bedroom be surrounded in fucking transformers. So you know, no judgment. Oh, you're not dead. I think his other armor is stuck in the wall. That's pretty funny. Just turn the music on. Oh wow, the quality here is just unmatched. Oh, I feel totally safe when I stay at the, uh... I forgot the name of the place. I was going to make a joke and say the name of the place, Spawn Resort, but... It fucking failed. Arcus? The Arcus Spawn Resort. Oh, I've never felt safer than when I'm here at Arcus. Oh, the quality is bar none. Hey, I think I see a shop over there. Ouch. Well, that's a great time to drop my fucking uh, health back. Dance, fucker, dance. Dance, fucker, dance. I'll put a slew of bullets in you. Gay fuse, I forgot we grabbed that. Plug it in, plug it in. Hey, we found the shop. Found a shop, found a shop. Make a selection. I select your mother. Now we'll have a fully upgraded AR. Stop! Complete. I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything else. Hey, Charles. Uh, let's gather up the rest of the shit around here real quick, and then we'll... 
Then we're gonna take a brief break so I can go grab a drink. No, fucker, I wanted the health. Look at your, look at your fucking neck ban 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 bandana. Neck band-aid. Clearly says you're hurt. Now shoot up. Oh god, yes. Alright. Brief break. Returning momentarily. Dance magic dance. Dance magic dance. Put my magic pants on you. My daughter was a fuck. Hey Charlie, can you get wet here? Wet here? Maybe more. Your mom's funny. Pow! Thrakazog. <laughs> Getting closer every day. Mine. No idea what he's talking about, but you know, it doesn't sound awesome. Arcus spelled backwards is Sacra. Like sacrifice. This town was fucked. Hey, Danny! Why do you have a giant umbilical cord coming off your neck and attached to that dude's neck? Wait for her to finish. Take a breather. You've been up all day. I won't go. You can't make me. You killed them all. Right, right, right. So did she like get super strong in this, or? We out. We out. I mean, it looks kind of fun, right? You know, besides the uh, slamming into steel things with all your body weight. They died. I'm sorry. I tried to protect you. You didn't deserve this. Danny. Hey, Danny. Get away from me! Karen, chill out. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Are you sure? Are you? you don't seem okay. Was in their mind, reliving their memories. They got some wild orgies outbreak. kicking in this place. Seventy-five years ago, just like what's happening in the prison, they killed everyone trying to contain it. Everyone. Child. These aren't accidents. 
And that was the last we'd talk to Danny. But we'd always see her in our dreams. Cause we are up above it. These guys just do not practice good hygiene. Like, just a bandage it, bro, and I'll remove it. Ole! Toupe! Bad Bunny! Sundrays! Ow, ow, no fear getting back up. I ain't got no backup. My backup's unconscious. Oh, you ran away, cute. Danny, you okay? Not the drop on me, but yeah. I'm fine. I'll see if she could be fine after that. Seems like that would be enough to turn your fucking spinal column into talcum powder. But eh, what do I know? I ain't a doctor. I just play one on TV. I gotta, I gotta imagine it'd be fucking awful, though, to, like, experience the moment of death, you know what I'm saying? Like, she seems to be experiencing the moments leading up to death, not the actual death itself. I gotta imagine that shit would be f fuck with you to no end. It'd be an interesting thing for a game to explore. Explore. Like, a detective uses something similar technology to, like, solve crimes by... Literally reliving the final moments of the victim. Thus, experiencing what it's like to die countless fucking times. I think we've done gotten all about everything we can get done here. God damn it. It's always me. She was fine. My hip. Oh, I think I broke my hip. You okay? Yeah. Damn walkway collapsed. Your mama collapsed. Very well, because you've given me literally zero options. Reunite with Danny? I don't know. I think that relationship's kind of run its course. I don't think we're a good fit. All systems operating within normal parameters. Your mother's a parameter. Nah. No, we need more monies. Hey, the video game's just like real life. Never enough to go around. Gotta find a ladder. You're a ladder. Oh, 
Oh, look, your arm, you broke it. Silly Billy. The upper level, Jacob. Look for the clinic. Yeah, I would love to, but I'm kind of in the middle of some shit here. Can always go upstairs. No, I thought I heard someone come up behind me. Yeah, I am. Keep going, girl. Sorry. I'm not sorry. I meant it. Or something. This one, maybe? This is a clinic. This looks like a clinic to you. Also, there's a dead dude. Quick! Steal his brains! Ah. I've never seen anything like it. Her brains. It came from down there, under the ice. The whole site's on lockdown. UJC's got a response team. So, is this thing supposed to be Cthulhu? Trapped under the ice, and wakes up, a bunch of people die. I'm not saying, it's not exact one-to-one, -one, but it's... There's some corollaries, there's some correlation. UJC is here for you. Oh, that's sweet of you, douche. You just want my money. Cause I'm a cold-hearted snake. Not much of a choice. Are the corpses the the zombies? What are we what are we talking about? It's a dome. I, well, it's a dome. Up to the surface, they're... What are you talking about? Like, mine shaft is in, it goes down, and we're at the surface? Is that what you're trying to say? Because... I'm going to say it was worded very weird, and I have no idea. Like, clearly it doesn't go to the surface surface, because, you know... I've got mom cure. Hi. Hey, Caitlin. Thanks. We're excited to share with you our findings. The culmination of decades of research. Who's she talking to? Not us. I'm going to download what I can from here. Meet you inside the dome. It began with a distress. A mysterious contagion spreading on are those giant eyeballs? Incubator. What was discovered at Paramo? Keep mentioning it, but. Girl, you my Paramo effect. Mm. After securing the site, a lab was constructed. And Clearly. a prison surrounding it. A research base with a readily available pool of test subjects. Because no one ever cares about prisoners. Black Iron was built. 
it's all been some kind of And apparently Mahler was okay with testing on prisoners, but when it came down to putting it out into the general population, that's a step too far. Because I'm sure in your world, no one ever gets wrongfully convicted of anything anymore, right? Via Solitarius! Dude, that is one wicked looking suppository. Look at that thing. Anyway, I'm gonna Google this real quick. Via Solitarius, clearly Latin in origin. But what does it mean? Lone Man. That's dumb. All right, ten hidden plot lines everyone missed in the Callisto Protocol. Curious. Intentionally corrupted robots? The Black Iron Prison helped the guards in enforcing the rules. So I guess the robots, I didn't notice this. Apparently the robots were killing everyone except the creatures. They were letting the creatures live. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I picked up on that, but Ferris, the guy who becomes what he they thought was going to be an alpha, is actually not involved. He's just another victim. Which, yeah. That one's cool, but it's not. It's just there. There are other moons that have settlements in life, and apparently some of the data logs you find belong to people that are born there. The Blind Colony. Underneath the prison on Callisto lie the remnants of a decades-old mining colony called Arcus, which is where we are now, which you explore later on. The deep, deeper narrative surrounding the colonists is that the UJC promised them a vision of new beginnings, but they were unknowingly mining to extract the giant biophage monstrosity. They actually did not know that. I don't think UJC knew that either until they found it, and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, fucking dig that shit up. <laughs> The Arcus colonists got blindsided by the UJC and sadly paid for it. Those that survived the purge became the biophage enemies known as the Blind. They're unlike any of the others you face because they're attracted to sound, showcasing their adaptation to the dark underground environment that resulted from their evolution. Terraforming efforts.
this is one that bothers me. Varying evolutionary effects. I'm gonna read the article real quick, but I just it doesn't. I don't see it. Like all the monsters seem very samey, which they have to because of the way they did the combat system. But It's a baby. Oh shit, it's live. I didn't notice that last time. His tail's twitching. Hey, Ferris. How you doing, buddy? Ow. Stop it. Jacob. I found the surface access door. I'm trying to open it. What 
many times I should really listen to him talk. Hey, don't be tossing around. Don't manhandle me. What have I done? Just finished my stream for today. Well, congratulations, Frosty. I hope it was a good one, and thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Run! Alright, I gotta elevate. Oh, she's getting face fucked. That ain't cool. Here to watch you get decimated. <laughs> But soon she'll be one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. You okay? Looks like we're getting right back to the end of the game. I don't remember how far from here to the, like the actual final boss, but you're a surface. And the funicular. Well, that sounds like a good time, right? I mean, it's got fun right in the name. Maybe she's just sleepy. But, oh. No offense, girl, you look like shit. Ah, that's many biotics, she'll be fine. I love I when a person who you think is sus ends up being awful cause I feel right. <laughs> okay. I would actually Have expect... Have already seen this cushion? Yeah, we're on New Game Plus now. I would expect that there was no way to cure it, because the people who you're looking for to have a cure are letting it release, right? So, like, why would they have a cure? Anyway. Nah, yeah, whenever I get a bad read on someone, I just assume I'm right. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I don't need to talk to you. You're, you're probably fucked. Then again, I also, you know, as we've discussed, suffer from social anxiety and stick to myself anyway, so like... Like, eh. Let's find out. I got a terrible habit of when I'm at work. I don't remember anyone's name unless they've been at the job for a few months. Hey, look. Don't get fired for the next two months and I'll remember your Literally, name until then. I just blocked them for no reason and I was good for that. Mm -hmm. On the con to the the contrast though, I hate when someone who's like like maybe you get a bad read, but your bad read is just like they're a weird dude or whatever. And then they turn out to literally be grooming part of your community. Because we, we had that years ago in this community and it's just like online. Ah, god damn it, dude. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. As a 34-year-old man trying to groom a 16-year-old, and then because she wasn't showing interest in him, try to turn the rest of us against her and get her booted from several communities for not being interested in him. I was like, dog, she's 16. <laughs> you in the wrong. So yeah, but your wife's 12 years younger than you. I'm like, yeah, there's a couple of differences there. One, she was 18 when we met, and two, she was willing. Oh, this girl doesn't fucking owe you shit. Leave her alone. Almost got it. This shit spread fast, right? seem nice together. Oh, I love my wife. Can we make it to him? Looks like it. I'm getting the door now. There was a blah 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 blah. Sorry. Um. Now there was a lot of people who were like, 
questioning the relationship in the early page because, you know, 18 year old and a 30 year old with kids, admittedly, not a good look. And then they spent five minutes with the two of us and were like, okay, never mind, I get it. <laughs> we, we fit each other very well. And also, we, like, while not being codependent, we're both fully functional on our own. Neither one of us particularly likes being away from each other. Like, we. Anything we do, we would prefer to have the other one there for us. No, I don't wanna! Ow! Okay, maybe. We need another drink soon. And a bathroom break. Tower! Is it a dark tower? Because I love those novels, hate that movie. Yeah, I see it. I would call it weird, however, you're right. Hearing you two convinces me it's not. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait! Stop! Stop! <laughs> no, no! The funniest ones, our oldest worked with us for a while before she quit for another job, and before she quit, one of our co-workers was like, how long have your parents been married? And so she told him how long we've been together, which is like 12 years, and she's like, they, they don't act like they've been together 12 years. Man, I'm sorry your parents Find don't love me. each other, but some of us actually like me. There's not much time. I'm just saying, not every relationship has to be that way. You, you can like the person you're with, it's possible. I have Danny. <laughs> Where is she? The lab at the heart of the prison. He's monitoring everything, but we can talk here. I can get you to the warden. I can cure her. I want to help. You? You put this thing in my neck, and now you want to help. She did. I saw her. Please, you must hurry. Find me, Jacob. No. There's a room ahead that connects to an area normally off limits to both inmates and guards. Find it, and I'll clear the way from here. Now, if I'm supposed to be there, uh, well, never mind. I guess that kind of makes sense. They'd pull me out to fight their alpha. Anyway. All right, tell you what. We're going to take a brief restroom break and grab another beverage. So everyone, synchronize your watches. We will meet back here in four minutes. So my clock, 10.53. And sync. I'm left alone. Time to commit arson. Sorry, I was about to come back, then I remembered that I keep forgetting to turn the light on in here, which makes the camera work a lot better. Anyway, we're back now. Now, one of the things we used to do that I... Larson, do not mind me, I'm under my ahead. complete right to burn this chat to the ground. <laughs> I ain't nobody else using it, you're fine. 
You know, uh, one of the things we used to do that I would love to get around to doing again one day is we used to, if we ever get to where we have enough free time, we used to do a uh, Horror Night stream where it's me and Lex playing horror games together. But that's that's a loose interpretation. She actually sat next to me and freaked the hell out while I played horror games because she does not like horror content. <laughs> and so she would sit next to me and freak out while I had a good time. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That sounds awesome. I miss it. God, that was years ago now. I want to say the last time we did one of those streams was... Late 2019, early 2020. The choice is yours. The power is yours! Alright, so we might have enough to start getting upgrades for shit like this. I kind of want to save up and max out our AR, because I love our... Oh, wait. Never mind, we maxed out our AR. Okay. I, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> Waiting to get the email for the analytics of my last stream. I hide viewer count, so I have no idea if lurkers... I... I get really weird lurkers, right? Like, I mean, I'm on the PS5... So I can't see shit anyway, but like I get really weird lurkers. I I'll get like my viewer count will say one or zero, but then I'll click on the viewers and stream, and there'll be like six different names, and like you can usually tell bots pretty easy. They'll be committed like or create the account will be created that year or shit like that, and it won't it won't be that. There'll be like accounts from 2015. So I'm like, so you're you're a person? Am I just muted? And if so, why are you here? I'm very fucking curious. What are you doing? What do you hope to get from this? And then occasionally it's just accounts where it's a... Uh, they do a... Uh, lo-fi. I've, I've had a few lo-fi accounts to sit and... Watch sure me, I'm Simi's way of advertising. Cause I didn't use Twitch much. Mine's old as balls. I wanna say my, my account's like eight or nine years old. I haven't looked into it in a while, but it might, yeah, my account, my accounts, I started streaming with Destiny 1. Ah! You know, you keep telling him not to pick at it, he doesn't listen. Ow. I do like, as generic as this fight is, mostly because, like, when it was a one-off, it was pretty intimidating, and then you fight him too many times, and the nuance goes up. But I will say, I do like that depending on which side you do more damage to, is which side gets ripped off, and the two sides are distinctly different. Like, the bigger side does a hell of a lot more damage. But his attacks were slower and he had more break in between. The side we left this time, hell of a lot quicker and gets a whole hell of a lot more attacks off, but way less damage. So I'd say that's a cool you yeah. know. Like I said, this game has a whole fuck it's it's sad how bad this game is, because there's so much fucking potential here for it to have been so much more. And instead, you get these little these little homages like the save points from Dead Space where you're like, Wow, yeah, you're right. I could be playing a better game. <laughs> I actually own it. It's on a different part of the hard drive. I could be playing it right now. <laughs> to be fair, I absolutely adore Dead Space, and the odds that this game was ever going to be anywhere near that level for me, excruciatingly low. As in, pretty much wasn't going to happen, but still. Experiments, Jacob. We we fucking know, dog. We talked about it at length with the scientists involved. Oh, I thought that was an audio log. Oh. It is, however, something I need to pick up because I need the money. Yeah, All right. Experiments. I'm okay with some experiments, but these experiments, these were bad experiments. Yeah, we can drop that. We got two full stacks. 
But like for instance, we, uh, for instance, we we take a really slow roll when we do human exp experimentation, and it takes decades to even get to that point, and then decades of doing that research. So there is a chemical construct called telomerase. Uh, long story short, it extends the DNA chains at the end of cells, allowing them to replicate more. And theoretically, because it's worked in rats, theoretically allowing you to age kind of in reverse. So like this would still look like an old man because I'm an old man and gravity is what it is. But like the internal organs, the internal, internal parts of the body that lose that ability to self-replicate and thus to heal, when you inject it with telomerase, would then be able to heal themselves and grow, and so like your your heart, your stomach, your all those components would be that of a much younger individual. Basically, you'd have 80-year-olds running around with the health and vitality of 25-year-olds. Dope. Pimp. Uh, can't, has not made it to human testing yet for a number of reasons. One of those reasons being, we have a name for cells that replicate indefinitely. We call it cancer. And so we're horrified that if we inject humans with telomerase, we might get massive outbreaks of cancer within their system and kill them. To which I say, dope, and I appreciate taking this slowly. Too and many words. Taking a uh, very, you know, educated approach. Just go to a fucking nursing home, dog. Like, hey, you're 90. Your life kind of sucks. How do we? How about we try this medication on you? Maybe it'll give you cancer and you'll die. But like, really, you got three years left. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Choice. My thoughts, anyway. Every choice in your life has led you here. Ah, we've already listened to this. To this place, this moment. Like this playthrough, we've already listened to this. Oh. Will you remain as you to become something greater? He didn't use my name last time. It is a slightly, very slightly modified version of the previous speech. I want to do experiments, lol. Right? Like, fuck it, I'm gonna die anyway. I don't give a shit. I mean, that's my stance on this shit. Like, if I developed cancer, and they were like, yo, it's terminal, you're gonna die, but we have this experimental procedure that may prolong your life, or, you know, may shorten it. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, try it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for two reasons. One, what the fuck I had to lose. Two, if it does fail, odds are they'll learn something that could help someone else down the line, you know what I'm saying? At, at, which at that point, my death's not in vain. Something was learned, something was gained. It, it, my death's become beneficial. And my wife would, Lex would totally respect that. Uh, we, we're a weird couple, we talk about a lot of shit. Uh, for instance, we love the good place. So we've discussed the trolley problem at length. And of course, most people with the trolley problem will say, yeah, dog, you sacrifice the one to save the five because maps. And the way they fuck with that in the trolley problem is to say, okay, well, that one is your wife, your spouse, a child, something like that. And like... If the choice was Lex or five strangers, I would still let Lex die. Because we've talked about it, we both agree that's the right thing to do, but also... I do stuff like that too, discussing philosophical dilemmas. Right, it's just fun. But, I mean, part of that, part of it with the trolley problem is knowing the person. Trolley. Like, if I spared... If I killed five people to save Lex... She would spend the rest of her life blaming herself and wondering why she was worth those five lives, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would haunt her forever, and the rest of her life would be a living hell. She would despise it. So, like, why would I do that to her? Just for my own selfish desires, you know what I'm saying? At that point, that's all it is. It's not about moral justification or anything else, it's just about being selfish. That, that ain't cool. Meanwhile, while my ex-wife would be like, "No, you should pick me." <laughs> Fuck you, man. You make I mean, me think of man. I'm selfish, lol. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. Like, like, like I said, at that point, I would primarily, primarily be making the decision, knowing what Lex would want. 
I doubt I would live much longer past that point. You're like, just because I would make that decision because of what's right for Lex, doesn't mean that I would be able to live with it, you know? Come on, buddy. I got me a wacky stick for you. You're a pinata. Viva pinata. Now I kind of want to play Viva pinata. It's been a while. The game's fun. I don't know though. Uh, I used to read a lot of philosophy and psychology and whatnot, and a very wise man once said, know thyself, and I took that shit to heart. So, like, yeah, I, I contemplate shit like that all the time. Like, could I allow Lex to die for the betterment of other people? Could I survive that? Down the stairs. You're getting closer. And, like, I ain't had a great support network my whole life, and most of my friends betrayed me at some point or another, and my first wife was bipolar and narcissistic, and treated me like shit. And so, like, Lex is the first person that There's truly felt like... Up, but they're mostly simple. Lex is one of the first people, if not the first person, one to make second. me feel truly loved and whatnot. Oh, okay. Fair. Wow. Damn, Jacob, you went ham on that. All right, while the ads play, we can just clear this room. Gotta clear that room! Do we have any inventory space? Anything we can drop? No, not really. I lost my drink. There it is. All right, let's just wait here. Oh, shit, I'm dumb. We can just fucking drop shit, grab the health pack, heal, and then pick it back up. Give it. Yay! Shoot it up. These ads make me wonder oh, Twitch oh if I shoot it up. Uh, I can answer that for you. No. Doing or cars doing whisper. This sounds odd. This sounds like something I would hate as well. I right, fair, fucking. Lately, uh, YouTube, because I, I deliver pizza, so I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And fucking YouTube lately is like, hey, watch this Daily Wire video. Bitch, do you watch my watch history? Do I look like a motherfucker who's gonna watch anything from Daily Water or Charlie Kirk? Like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. I keep reporting them. I report all those ads. Like, y'all... Right, like, y'all are aware these guys are, like, actively participating in hate speech, right? Like, Charlie Kirk has called on numerous occasions for the extinction of trans people. And you're advertising this motherfucker. I mean, to be fair, you're just taking money for him. It's not like they're fucking condoning him or anything, but, like, still. I get a lot of transphobic ads. I'm not transgender. I watch so many trans YouTubers, Bob. I like... I'm not trans, clearly. I'm non-binary. Like, my only real attachment to my gender is... Having a vagina seems like a lot of work and I'm lazy. But like... I'm pretty sure a lot of supporters get phobic ads. Well, and that's what kind of pisses me off about a lot of this is it's like I've got trans members of this community whom I love. They've been members of this community for years. They are very near and dear to me. 
And like, are they getting those same fucking ads for these assholes? Like, these motherfuckers should not be making millions of dollars to spread hate. And like, even if YouTube cuts them off, they're still going to, because they're being paid by billionaires to spread this propaganda to, so people won't pay attention to what's really affecting their lives. But like, we don't have to fucking help with that shit. Non-binary is transgender, by the way, but oh. there's no need to label yourself. That's fair. I, I didn't know non-binary counted. <laughs> I see. Like, I'm in my 40s, and all these terms are fairly new, so I didn't have the terminology when I was younger. I just knew that, like, none of the aspects of male society really applied to me, and I would have been perfectly happy to be a woman. It counts because you aren't assigned it at birth. Ah, uh, fair. But yeah, I, I find the whole the whole idea of all these like gendered stereo or gender. Hold on, I'm brain farting. You have to give me a second to reset. These uh, gender. Convertible as a guy, but I've considered if I'm non-binary in the past, never fits me. Never it fits me fine. I've never I've never understood like 90% of the guy thing. Like for instance, I've been called gay so many times because I don't like watching sports. Like, you don't like watching football? Gay. And I'm like, dog, you like watching a bunch of grown men in spandex bend over and stick each other's asses. And I'm gay? I'm just saying. To be fair, I love to play football. I don't like to watch any sport. But, uh, but, 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 like, I've never understood the whole, like, the gendered, like, you know, well, women are supposed to do the cooking. Why? Based on what? Like, what the fuck does it matter? Like, in our house, I do the cooking for the most part because Lex works two jobs right now and doesn't spend as much time at home as I do. Some nights she's not home until, like, midnight or later. Which is pansexual, but with preference. I got a thing for a guy right now, though. is worsening. You must go faster. Just hang on. I'm coming. See, now that one, I will say, I am... Straight. Because penises are fucking disgusting. I just... I'm a little embarrassed to have one, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I like... The male body is a fucking horror show. <laughs> Ow! What hit me? Ow! Rude! Oh, it's an invisible bitch. So like yeah, while I would be perfectly happy in a female body, I would I would at that point definitely be a lesbian. <laughs> Male bodies are gross, and I'm offended to have one. But again, I really enjoy the peeing standing up. I, it's it's very it's convenient. I don't know if I could I, like the other way seems very it's, it's too much work. You know what I'm saying? Like it's too much. You got to sit down. You got like completely undressed from the waist down every time. Like that that seems like a lot of work. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, most parts of human society just don't make any fucking sense to me. Like, keep in mind, I grew up in a different time. I grew up on the cusp. I am what's called a geriatric millennial. So I grew up on that cusp right there between millennial and what are the fuck bitches who came before us were. And like, them motherfuckers, when we were when we were growing up, they'd be like, "Oh my god, you still play video games? You're like 16. You're practically an adult." Like, motherfucker, no, I'm not. No, you're not. Why the fuck are you in such a hurry to grow up? If I've seen my parents. Gender, that shit looks like it sucks. Gender, you are a gender. If you find yourself outside of male slash female non-binary. See, now you're getting too confusing. <laughs> I don't know. That's part of my thing, too, is like me and Lex have recently, we, like she got no period where she wanted to define what's going on with her. So we watched a lot of videos on things like autism and we're like, okay, yeah, this, this, fits both of us pretty well. We're probably both high-functioning autistics. 
but the difference between the two of us is she likes having the labels to help define herself and provide constraints, and I'm just like, eh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I am who I am. Anyone who doesn't like it can suck a big fat bag of dicks. Anyone who does like it, cool, let's hang out. I don't give a shit either way. You're nearly here. Just keep moving. She's asexual. What's, what's that? Asexual demi romantic, I think is the terminology. But like she thought the whole uh, for all your needs. when people talk about finding an individual sexy and wanting to bone down, she thought all that shit was just like people play acting in order to fit in because it made zero fucking sense to her until she met me. Labels like, bring comfort, I suppose. Like it helps you put words to what you feel. Right, and that that's her perspective. Me, I was so old by the time these labels started coming out, I was like, bah, I've just grown used to being who I am. I will say though, having someone having demi a demi romantic attraction to you is like. Yeah, I guess I am kind of badass, huh? That's <laughs> it's, a, it's a little, a little, you know, a gra a grandizing. Jaden animations video that explains asexual slash aromantic. Maybe, I I gotta remember. She showed me some of these videos. You should watch it. It's so good. Uh, I just gotta remember who Jaden Animations is, cause, cause like. She watches a lot of different shit on YouTube than I do. I watch a lot of Hassan and Majority Report. So yes, yes, she watched her uh, her when she talked about how, where Jaden Animation talked about how she the felt in high school. Not she did a video about being asexual in high school, and that's that helped her helped Lex get a lot of words for how she feels because she described like yeah this this all makes perfect fucking sense to me. This is. This is my high school experience. And I was like, oh. This is, uh, oh, that makes, yeah. Because, like, I don't really have a corollary. I don't have anything I've seen that kind of correlates exactly. That video is so funny and entertaining, too. No, yeah, she loved it. She made sure I watched it. To help better understand her. It's not just me, that seemed like a sexual act, right? <laughs> no, I get it, I died, whatever, fucker. But yeah, I don't really have a corollary, because, like. That was disturbing. <laughs> Cause like I'm straight, but like. Please make a selection. I don't know. I think it's just the the borderline autistic thing. Is cause like. I had several opportunities that I did not engage with because they were strangers and I did not feel comfortable. Excellent choice. Which is, from what I understand, a very weird thing for a normal straight guy to do. But, like, I, I don't like being touched. That's the worst part about being in a new relationship for me, is getting used to a new human being putting their hands on me. It fucking creeps me out, and I don't like it. And I gotta get to a point where I'm okay with it. Demisexual. Is that... Because I thought demisexual is when the attraction is based <laughs> and on a specific person. Because it's like, I'm attracted to various people, but then it, when it comes down to them touching me, it's where it's like, that's a bit much, let's have a few drinks, get to know each other, I don't know, maybe build up to it, I don't want to jump straight to the one night thing, that's not my, you know. Alright, this time we're ready for him. I don't know why I'm opening his fucking chest. We'll we get, we get nothing out of this. If he's in there, there's there's no good to be at. Oh, uh, okay. I thought, yeah, I can say, I thought the demisexual was the, uh, where the attraction is based on a specific individual. Where, like, you know, you could be ace and just have no sexual desire whatsoever, and then you meet one person, and you're like, but this one, this one's okay. See, I'm old. I'm I'm from the generation where we are the F slur is just a general. Uh... Do 
DF slur was a general term for anything negative. Anyone who was being a douche was being gay, like that sort of kind of thing. A so to say we were enlightened was attracted to someone not, only not after they've developed a close emotional bond with them. See, even that's that's close, but it's still not. Because like I've had like I've had like friends with benefits type situations where like we weren't close. I haven't talked to them in years, but like we were friends, and it's like I'm hard up, you're hard up. Neither one of us has shit going on, so let's you know let's take care of each other until we find someone. It's just that I need to know the person. I, it can't be like a stranger because that's just ew. Don't touch me. Oh, another one. That's so many terms for different parts of the asexuality thing. It's another spectrum. Ah, oh, fair. And why do things have to be a spectrum? I just want clear-cut answers. Because I'm fucking lazy and I don't want to learn shit. Well, I do want to learn shit, but about mythology and sci-fi. I wish I had more time to work on my stories. I've got a great idea brewing for a video game world. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I write it down or not. It'll never get made because I'm poor and poor people don't get to do cool things. See, that's fine. I don't know, society's come a long way, which this whole right-wing push right now is... It's annoying if you watch patterns, because it happens every time. We've made a lot of progress. So, of course, whenever we make a lot of progress, we have to have, you know, it's two steps forward, one step back. So you, you make a lot of progress, and you have this massive push backwards where, you know, everything goes to hell. But then we balance out, and we have a new baseline that we move forward from. So technically, this current right-wing push is a good thing? But it's like, can we just fuck... We do this every fucking time. Seriously, can we just skip it this time? Can we just fucking... No? We're gonna do it again. Really. Every fucking time. We have to do it. Because it's the same shit. You know what's gonna... All right. All right, fine. We do it with technology. We do it with social reform. It's just... Now. It's, Fucking gets old. History repeats itself. Yeah, I know. But, like, I would like for it to repeat itself in new and creative ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had a fascistic dictatorship rise, and boom, World War II. How about we have a capitalistic dictatorship rise? You know, there's variance, is what I'm saying. Like, but no, we got another fascistic trying to, another fascistic rise, and Trump trying to take off. And it's like, do we do we have to do exactly the same fucking thing? Can we not switch it up a little? Experimenting. Yeah, of course, we always experiment on the poor. I'm selling blood plasma, which is just another way of feeding on the poor. Like, that's kind of how society's built. Capitalism is just modern-day feudalism. I'll free you, my brother! I know, this seems hard. This seems hard. I'll, I'm just gonna leave you here. Thinking of donating to Extra Life through my page on Ren. It's only an inhibitor to slow the rectum. You said you could cure her. I can, with your help. Do you have to trust me? Why should I? You help affect these people. Between five hype and twenty, what do you think sounds good? How are we gonna afford? I mean, it is a good so cause. Will become clear. 
Why don't you start by telling me about this? Uh, that's a black what light. You know what and, oh. on I have no idea what happened on Europa. I wasn't there when the attack happened. No, but she was. Are you sure you really want to? Yes. <laughs> Vape went down the wrong pipe. Woo! <laughs> Your core is I, I splurged and bought myself a bottle of whiskey. We've been low. First stream for a few days, maybe like two weeks of streams. I mean, whatever you can. Like, okay, here. Let's push the zero, Nick. He like went a while ago, and it's still bother. It's been weeks, and I'm still like jonesing. Anyway. So, like, to give me an idea, the reason why I raise money for Extra Life is... And we're gonna get personal and sad, and don't worry about it, it's been fucking decades. So, meh. Uh, 18 years ago, me and my ex-wife had one kid at the time. She was pregnant with our second child, and we were coming back home from her dad's place on Father's Day, of all days. When a dude who was drunk, high on marijuana and crystal meth started chasing our headlights and I tried to avoid them and couldn't and so when I realized an impact was inevitable I took him right between the headlights and my little Nissan Sentra collided with his GMC Jimmy and became roughly a foot and a half shorter uh, my ex-wife miscarried our son she was five months pregnant at the time and I shattered my kneecap in like eight places now, the reason I raise money for Extra Life is because during the aftermath of these events, we had to deal with such fun things as the insurance company telling us they would not pay for funerary costs for our son because he, and I quote, wasn't a person. Since then, I've been thrilled to see things like a couple trying to find a great Kickstarter theme to put on poster board for their daughter to hold up because she was losing her sight. But it was not life-threatening, so their insurance was not going to cover it. Because we live in a dystopian fucking hellhole. This is why I hate capitalism, where profits are put above human life and well-being. But through Extra Life, we can raise money to take the burden of finances off these parents. These kids are going to get the penultimate care, mm -hmm. and I believe... I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe we also pay for those parents to, like, if it's a terminal case, take time off work and be with their kids, spend those last time. And that, dude, you have no idea how much it can mean to someone just to know that someone's there and someone cares during those times. It's the worst fucking thing you can ever experience. It's something you never fucking recover from. But knowing that someone's there and gives a shit can mean the different, all the difference in the world in terms of their emotional and physical well-being. Emotional and mental well-being. So, love the cause. Love it a lot. I love the people. I love going to ELU every year and meeting all the other streamers, you know. Even though my social anxiety kicks in and I'm all, I'm all quiet. And I'm a little wallflower, huh? <laughs> but, like, I love meeting the people. Lumen and fucking, fuck, what's his name? <laughs> the weirdo with that carries the Captain America shield and kicks everyone's ass in Crokinole. I should play him next year. Anyway. I raise money because I want to help people, really. I have no backstory personally. No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's 100% fine. Like, you know, it's just... Like I said, it's a really, really good cause. And you don't need a backstory. Like, honest to God, I hope no one else has to go through the horseshit I did. Unfortunately, I know that it's all too common a story and that people go through shit like what I went through all the fucking time. Because that shit's hell, and it still weighs on me every fucking day. <laughs> like, and someone we were talking about at work the other day, I, I study serial killers, and after studying serial killers for a period of time, I don't believe in the death penalty at all. And, like, one of the reasons we still use the death penalty is we talk about closure for the families, and as someone who lost a loved one, that doesn't fucking exist. Closure's a nice little lie. The rest of the world tells themselves so they can pretend that we'll be okay, but we won't. Like, there's a hole in our hearts that's going to exist for fucking ever. 
So like, yeah, you don't you don't need the deep personal story. I hope you don't have the deep personal story, honestly, because trust me, kind of sucks. Be helped one day if anything. I also do not believe in the death penalty. Man, studying serial killers as much as I have, all the people who go that route are deeply traumatized human beings who were victimized themselves and that victimization is playing out. It doesn't justify what they did, it doesn't make it okay, but it's also, they are still victims and we have to kind of understand that as well. It's... Plus, if we can get better at treating them mentally, that means we can get them to a point where they're okay, which means they then have to address the things they've done to other people and that becomes their own personal hell, which I believe is a much, much, much greater punishment than just putting them out of their misery. Personally. My, my take. I saw the dog moving behind me on the camera on the screen. <laughs> See if he wanted to get down, but no, he just curled up against the sidewall and passed back out. Now. Or at least it will be once the sink is complete. The data won't transfer immediately, but her memories will fill in the gaps, give you the answers you seek. Okay, just tell me how we can cure her. You can use this to synthesize an antidote, but you'll need to extract a sample from the warden's elk. This is what? The goal of this madness. His ridiculous protocol. During the original outbreak, a colonist known as Subject Zero demonstrated a unique ability to synthesize the biofilm to control hey, Zero. It. Yeah, I heard in the recording something about bigger. Oh, the antidote looks like a gun. Propaganda. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> now, the warden seeks to replicate the conditions of the original outbreak, hoping to recreate Subject Zero as Subject Alpha. Subject Alpha or just A Alpha? Uh, whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to. It's fine. I'm not going to question it. Evolution doesn't happen in the lab. It happens in the bio. How can he do this? There's no way he can cover this up. He's not acting. He's part of a group. Dating back centuries, they seek to control the progress of human. She's she's waking. Sorry, my arm really hurts. Once synthesized, the antidote will contain the only pure essence from his alpha. He'll want it more than anything. It's the key to all he seeks. What about you? I wonder. I played my part in all of this as well. There's no escape from. Black Iron is where I belong. I wonder if she's trying to create a pure version of the virus to forcibly evolve Danny to a higher state. So that Danny will be the alpha instead of his alpha. Where am I? It doesn't matter. We got what we need. Now let's go finish this. Come on. I just leave her here, let her rest. Like something inside my head. Soon. Oh, okay, Subject Zero seen better days, but <laughs> that ass though. No. I'm just saying. Look at that shit. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Oh, it's my co-pilot. No, she didn't. It's your trauma, dog. God, this game could have been so good with just a little better writing. But yeah, if you have the opportunity to go to Yale U next year, I highly recommend it. It's it's a great deal of fun. You get to meet a lot of cool people. It's just it's a blast. I hope they announce the game soon so I can start practicing because I suck and I need time to get good. Last year's event, I ended up playing games that I had never played before, <laughs> which was interesting. But you know, I would have liked a better chance to try to win money for my hospital. I've been considering starting to go to cons. Mama's helping us get the cure. And you try. Don't got a choice. I love these yeah. doors. They're stupid and overly complicated, but gorgeous. 
Watch this, watch this. Look at that, look at that, it's so cool. I want those doors for my house. Anyway. Um, no, yeah, ELU. That's the executive suite, dog. Who is it? Oh, this is the tablet they were talking about. Okay. No, yeah, ELU is like a fortune teller. our uh, extra life event every year. We get together for three days here in Orlando. Uh, we do Orlando every year because and I didn't know this until last year. I was like, please be in Orlando again because I can't afford to travel. But it's always Orlando because they bring the, the angels, which are the kids we save, out to Orlando so they can... Tonight, while the prisoner sleeps, I will take matters into my own hands. I will release Mahler's experiments into the wild. No more talk. The time has come for action. And I know that I am right. And not left. Initiate the Callisto protocol. Oh, you're a dick, so he released it on purpose. I, I mean, that's not terribly surprising, but I thought it might have been an accident that it released, and he was just okay with it. Anyway. No, yeah, so uh, they bring him out to Orlando because apparently they take him to the theme parks. So, like, they come out to ELU, and they meet the streamers and all that. But then they go afterwards to the theme parks and have fun. So it's always in Orlando, which rocks for me. Sucks for the rest of you, but, you know, yeah, fuck you. BRB. Damn it, ads! I mean, I like the ads. Cause I need the money! But I was in the middle of talking, and that's fucking rude. Fucking doors. I fucking love those doors. Data transfer complete. Danny. Oh Danny. shit, I'm on Europa, y'all. That's cool at the fucking door. Uh, I like that. That's really good. Okay. It's like a shitty restaurant sometimes. Hey, a bike! And now you're inside Danny's memories. It's like a really bad time to stop. Europa. A diluted test sample released from one of our labs. A tragedy that inspired everything Cole is doing here at Black Eyne. I'm interested in your bike. Why is there blood, though? They don't seem to be bleeding, right? They're just dying from some kind of virus. <laughs> so why is there blood? Dad, some of these people's stories for why they joined Extra Life are pretty saddening. No, yeah, I'm not the only one with the sob story. A lot of a lot of people do, and for other people, it's just. They want to help. I know there's one of the guys, I don't remember his name offhand, but I read his story. He, his kid, well, he also lost a kid, but his kid was three or four, and Children's Miracle Networks tried to help, and they still lost her. And, like, that's, that's just gutting. I mean, I never got to know my son, so, like, having a few years, to, I honestly can't tell you if that's better or worse. It's just, it's gutting. But, yeah, no, like... A lot of us have horrible sob stories. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> like, trust me, for those of us who do have the sob stories, we are perfectly happy to have people here who don't. But yeah, yeah. So ELU, everyone gets together here in Orlando from across America and Canada, and I believe South America. There was a few from South America last year. But we get together um, in March... Usually, I think it's late March, early April. But you sign up online, you you can register for different games and tournaments, and the, the hospital where you raise money for, if you win any money during the tournaments, that goes to your hospital. I won $80 last year, for, or this year, for my hospital. Arnold Palmer's Children's Hospital here in Orlando. I won it by playing Sushi Go Party, which was the only fucking game I'd played. <laughs> it's a stupid card game I used to play with my kids. Anyway. I had two terrible rounds. I could have won so much more if I'd had better rounds on the other two. I won the first round I played. Anyway. But yeah, we get together. Spend three... To, like, the first day is very few tournaments. I think there's... I think this year there was, like, one or two tournaments the first day. But we, we just get together, and you bullshit. You meet a lot of cool people from across the country, a lot of other streamers, uh, a lot of people in the, ga in the gaming space. There'll be some developers there and whatnot. 
uh, Lumen, who I mentioned, is a really chill dude who I he works with. I want to say it's EA, but he's chill as fuck. Like I, I, we meet a lot of cool people, we play games together, and the only thing I don't like about Lumen is that motherfucker wins every goddamn thing. There's also Settlers of Catan. There's a huge tournament every year for Settlers of Catan. I kind of want to... I, I can't afford it, but I kind of want to buy the game just so I can try to learn it before next year's. It, it's a blast, though. I, I highly recommend going. It is so much fucking fun. If you can afford it, of course. I don't know where you're located, so I don't know how much of a cost that is to you. I do think you get a discount at the hotel. And this year's ELU... Or, sorry, next year, 2024, is going to be at the... Disney's Dolphin Hotel. Uh, so I believe y'all get discount on rooms. I never bothered to get a room because I live here. Like even Disney's like 45 minutes drive for me. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, I'll drive there. It's fine. It's actually pretty hard for me to travel. What are you talking about? You'll see. Yeah, if it wasn't held in my hometown, I could not go. Jacob, what do you got there? What we got here is none of our business. But come on, we have a job to do. And that was Danny's little sister. Killed by the creatures we brought to the planet. This was our fault. No, 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 no. No. I mean, you kind of can't. These people are dead regardless. I get the cure. Uh, I can take care of myself. Okay. Make him pay for what he's done. Word, yo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I will say, I, I mean, I can't speak for anyone, everyone else in Extra Life who's got some kind of horrific story. I will say I have no problem sharing my horrific story because for me, personally, just me talking, um, if my tragedy and my pain can be used to help UGC printing any other families. Needs. It's not that it makes the shit that happened to us okay or right. It's... It's that it gives it scope and meaning. You know what I'm saying? So like, UGC just for example, the, highest quality. The, the individuals who had all the horrible shit happen to them in the Damn Holocaust, day day. there is nothing good about that situation. But this is a direct result of the Holocaust. Because that kneecap was shattered in that car accident that killed my son. And it, without the orthopedic surgery experiments done during the Holocaust, they would have either fused my kneecap so my leg would never bend again, or they would have simply cut my leg off and I'd have a very decorative and ornate Preferably rosewood, peg leg, and that would have been the end of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. By 
by thanking uh, by thanking the the individuals who died during these horrific experiments, it doesn't make their deaths okay or better, but it does have a, add a certain level of mean not meaning is the wrong word. Uh, b -b 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 context. Okay, for another example. I'm gonna get another drink. For another example. Um, sometimes during childbirth, the wall between the vagina and anus can rupture. And so, there is a surgery that can be done that involves a mesh-like structure, a graph between the two bodies that allows flesh to heal into those two bodies, sealing off the border between the anus and the vagina. That has saved asinine numbers of women's lives. That surgery was developed by an asshole on slave women. And if you look it up, now we're starting to talk about it, and you can find those women's names. Uh, I don't know the doctor's name, and quite frankly, fuck him. He doesn't deserve to be remembered. He was an asshole who was experimenting on people against their will, and these women fucking died due to his experiments. But those women, by acknowledging them and respecting them for these advancements, to me, that doesn't make it better what happened to them, but it adds, adds context, and it... I don't know, I, I'm having trouble describing it right now, but that's kind of how I feel, like, what happened to my son sucked. There is nothing that can make that shit right. But, there is a certain level of context, oh, well, the inventory's full, fuck it, let's just go in the middle and start the boss fight. Like, being able to raise money for extra life, make sure other families come out okay, gives his death meaning and scope and makes it not okay, but better. If that makes any sense. Especially when the commonality is final with an And right on time. He approaches the survivor. The survivor. Where's the alpha? Just give me the goddamn antidote! I'm not gonna let her die. Your friend. <laughs> I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You Think if I just dipped from a team on Extra Life, they would care? I joined on a whim and am kinda regretting it. Probably not. You, huh? I mean, I can't speak for them. I don't know them directly, but like most most people on Extra Life are super chill. As long as you're still about the the life and the cause, and trying, most of them are fine. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our destiny. We were not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve. We are to survive. Now, you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. Final contest to determine the true survival. Humanity. I mean, we're human. We're no longer defined by our physical evolution. We, we evolve through technology. That's our thing. That's our gig. It's what we do. Yo, what up, Ferris? How you been, dog? I just dipped. Hope nothing happens from it, lol. Just didn't feel right. No, I'm sure they'll be fine with it. I mean, like I said, it's, it's charity, right? So, like, I'll get your back either way. Not that I have a huge name in the community, but... Oh, he got me. Oh, I fucking did. Ow. 
Asshole. Are you tired yet? That sucks because I can use someone. Uh, you're becoming a dick? Oh, no mutation, okay. Are there tiny little baby hands in there? Because that's creepy as fuck. Uh, in your case, the price is too high, dog. I'm out of your money back. Like, yeah. I've built a wormhole in which to collect thousands of baby hands. What? Why? <laughs> hats from llamas with hats, by the way. Oh, okay. Llamas with hats. That's familiar to me. Ow, I got hit by a boomer and then died. Um, why are there only white babies? <laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. And the payment is baby hands. Alright, there should be another boomer. There he is. Why did you have kids? Uh, for me, it was a fucking accident. I need, I need, it's a long story, and to get into it, I need to fucking have a minute, but like, you know, clearly, everyone in the mother is currently trying to fuck us up, so. None of our kids were planned, but also, and I gotta be careful with this, because my ex has been telling kids things they don't need to hear, but... Only to one of them, the other one still doesn't know. Uh, I've got three kids, so we got to technically. Oh, fuck you, dude! Ah, uh, I hate the fight. Uh. Only one of my kids is biologically mine, the other two are the result of my ex wife having affairs. I said one of them doesn't know. That's why I gotta be secretive about it. The other one she told, and was like, why the fuck would she tell me that? I'm like, I don't know, dog. <laughs> Is she crazy? Fuck you up for me. I've had a really shitty life. <laughs> Just leave it at that, it's fine. <laughs> one day, you know, say it's dark just before the dawn, so one day things will get better. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. I did fine. Uh oh. Woo! She had to be angry! Be angry, yo! Ow. 
dealt with Ow. crazy people, women, it's crazy. I mean, let's be fair. There are more than enough crazy dudes out there. It is not just a woman thing. Alright, where the hell is this dude at? I heard boomers. They're coming to get you, Barbara. 100% but my family, not getting into specifics in case this gets dug up, has a weird taste in women. Okay, all of them sucked and I hated them. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about my brother's wives. But to be fair, I also hate my brothers, so... Crap, I need help. Uh... Damn. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Yeah. I don't get along with my brothers. My brothers are approximately. Are there any people in your life who have tried hard to be good but failed in the past so much you can't forgive? Not really. Most people in my life have been other cliche things. Like, for instance, my, my ex will occasionally have moments of uh, clarity where she realizes what she's done to me and the kids. And, uh, but she'll give these moments of clarity, which is like, oh my god, I can't believe this, I need to get help, I'm so sorry, yada yada yada. But then her, her bipolarity and her narcissism and take over and she loses that and she goes straight back to being a shit stain. Or like my brothers are like it is because like deep down inside of her somewhere there is a good person I've seen it but like yeah, you can't help anyone who's not willing to help themselves, and she's not willing to help herself, so. Uh, currently, my, my 20 year old is not talking to her and hasn't been for a fucking month. Flat ass her and the way she treats her. It's like. 
to text her, but never to say I'm sorry, but to rather say I hate this, I wish you would talk to me, yada 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 yada, and it's like, fucking address the shit she's pissed about, dog. like, she's a human fucking being, like, Did we get it? Did we get it? Yeah, my brother's like 9 and 10 years older than me, and they have treated me like shit my entire life because I was born on Christmas Eve, and I took Mommy away from Christmas. Like, that was my, my fault. But then we had a cousin who was a year older than me who passed away after trying to get clean from drugs. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? It's fucking terrible. I hate it. <laughs> but in that sample is the key to unlocking a centuries-old dream. That's not failure, Mr. Lee. That's promise. promise. And it belongs to me. No. No, no, no. I don't Relatable. This is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. Yeah, they blame so my entire life. Up there. And then we had a cousin who passed away who was a year older than me, and all of a sudden they want to have a relationship. But they don't know shit about me, and they basically want me to treat them like the glorious older brothers. I'm like, dog, fuck you. Like, that's not where we are. A valiant effort. Bro, you can't control when you pop them out. Right? Like, what the fuck? I didn't have any. Do you think I wanted to pop at Christmas time? Fuck that shit. Yeah, so my parents give me shit for not having a better relationship with my brothers. I'm like, they don't Such fucking care. Best. Not really. All this to save one life. Don't think you've stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you... Self-destruct. I cracked my head as a baby. My old Bye. dad's GF gave me shit for it. I do hope... I was three, and my mom was awful. I was blamed for my mom too. Run! Move! Yeah, the uh you're not gonna be able to see it on this camera. If I'm if you ever see me do a PC stream, which I do periodically, I've just been running the PS5 because it's way stronger than my PC. And these graphics are fucking incredible. The ray tracing and all that shit is fucking amazing. Anyway. But there's a it's scar on my forehead. Somewhere. Is it this side? Is this side? I don't remember. There's a scar on my forehead. That is, uh, when I was three to four years old, no, three years old, my brothers were supposed to watch me. And of course, I was a giant burden and a pain in the ass, and they didn't want to watch me. So, uh, did I die? Anyway. Um, so they weren't paying close enough attention to me. Well, mine is, you know those big metal horses on the springs? I saw one of those on a playground, and I ran towards it because I wanted to play with it, and these fuckers were hanging out with their friends, not paying attention to me, and that fucking thing caught me straight in the forehead, and I've got a permanent dent in the bone tissue of my forehead from this fucking horse. And I'm the asshole, because I got them in trouble. <laughs> Fuck. I was three. I wasn't even a thing yet. I was still being coded, you dicks. Can feel the bump. Mine's a divot. Oh, there it is. I can feel. <laughs> My, mine's a divot in my skull tissue. <laughs> you know what you're doing? I didn't. But I do now. I mean, I don't care at this point, right? Sorry. For everything. My dad lied and said I did it to myself for a long time until he told me my mom caused the injury. Jacob! That's fucked. I'm sorry. Jacob! With mine, mine are all injuries where it's like, yeah, this happened, ha ha ha, isn't that funny? I'm like, I mean, a transfer little. Complete. But also. That transfer worked both ways. <laughs> He learned more about me, and I learned more about him. In the chaos of the moment, I didn't realize...
Cyrus, he had also given me the evidence I was looking for all along. He sacrificed his life so that I could expose the truth. Yeah, I got a little bit of money left on my PlayStation card. I'm debating cost. buying Resident Evil 4 for the rest of. Your mom at an outside restaurant when I was point one four. Either way, I hope you found some peace. I was told before that I just fell out of my crib. I was told that too that I fell on my head as a baby because I crawled up something. My ex-wife, and I don't, I don't know why she told me the story. She honest to God should have known better. She, <laughs> she told me that her, her parents told her the story of, like, her dad, when she was an infant, would do the whole toss her up in the air so she would smile thing. And yay! 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 Dome in the ceiling fan. I was like, how do you expect me not to make fun of you for this? Like, you know it's fucking coming, right? Like, you can't even be mad at me at this point. You fucking... Oh, God damn well, I am who I am. <laughs> like, I'm going to laugh at this, and I'm going to make fun of you. We're doing the yummies. <laughs> oh, yeah, I accidentally, my headphone cable got caught on my Please elbow, and I'm like... <laughs> oh, so I don't know where it cut off exactly. My ex-wife would tell me the story about how when she was a, an infant, her dad would toss her in the air and catch her. You know, that whole thing. And <laughs> several, apparently it didn't happen just once. He would toss her in the air and she would <laughs> pop her head on the ceiling fan. Well, why are you telling me this? You know goddamn well I'm going to make fun of you. I can't not. It's it's unavoidable. I have to make fun of you. That's that's just who I am as a person. Well, honestly, at this point, I feel like you're setting me up, and that's fucked up. <laughs> that's kind of like she also told me. Left. Oh, is it ads? Fuck, fucking ads. I'm still mad at this game because there was there was so much. Choose a skin. What other skins are there? Kate that, Red Bull in back. Do the yummies again. Yay! <laughs> All right. So what, what 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 part was I talking about? What other skins are there? There's, there doesn't appear to be any other skins. Anyway. <clears throat> Oh, I am assist. I am assist. I am assist. Uh, anyway. I don't know. I've got a lot of scars from stupid shit where people weren't paying attention to me when they should have. Just yummies and then you cut out on the third. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're, okay. So yeah, she would, he, her, her dad would toss her in the air when she was an infant. And then apparently it happened not once but multiple times where he tossed her in the air and the ceiling fan popped her right in the fucking head. I'm like, why, why are you telling me this story? You know goddamn well I'm going to make fun of you. Oh, that explains a lot. Like, I have to. It's in my DNA. I can't not make fun of you for this. This feels like a setup, and that's wrong. That's entrapment. Even fucking cops can't get away with that shit. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. What you're doing right now is fucked up. What is this? Ah, uh, okay. I guess maybe because the dyslexic font is more bold and bubbly that it makes it harder for the brain to scramble it. Is that true? Because if so, that's pretty fucking you brilliant. With Callisto War. I haven't decided, honestly. I'm going to look at the achievements, the trophies rather. I, I'm not a huge fan of the game. I love Glenn Schofield for Dead Space. Uh, Dead Space 1 and 2 were phenomenal, and 3 was okay. Yes, it is easier because they feel heavier and harder to movie. move. <laughs> but, like, I... I, I love... 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, also, cool, they cool. Look more different. Cool. So thank you, because I, I really like, appreciate having that context there, because I'm not, so I don't have the context, and I don't know exactly how it functions. You know what I'm saying? So like, when it says dyslexic, like, how, how is this different? How does it affect? But having that context is it's appreciated. Thank you. Uh, am I done with cluster protocol? I don't know. I mean, probably, right? Like, I love Dead Space. Thank you, Glenn Schofield, for Dead Space. Cluster Protocol had the potential to be a brand new badass sci fi horror extravaganza. Uh, you needed to hire some writers. I, I get the feeling there were no actual the writers of the on board of this. prevented them from turning upside down for readers with dyslexia. Oh, that's cool. I. I I'm sorry, I'm fascinated by shit like that, that just trip. It's kind of like the, uh, and again, I'm not sure how this applies to dyslexia, but for, for people without dyslexia, if you take a word, a regular word that we know, and you have all the letters that are supposed to be in the word there, and the first and the last letter are where they should be, but all the other letters are out of order, and you do this with like one word in the middle of a sentence where everything else is spelled properly, that one word typically will just skip over it and not even realize it's spelled wrong, right? Because all the letters are there. So our brain will be like, nah dog, that says this, <laughs> and just move the fuck on. And I love that. I love shit like that that plays with the brain. It's, just, it's fascinating to me. So the fact that like, Having that larger bubble script is able to bypass dyslexia by being just I, it, fascinating, and I love it. I love it so much. The human mind is a fascinating thing. I've been good at reading since I read a lot for escapism as a kid, so most people don't have any idea. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh, due to my brain worms and whatnot. I did not have a close relationship with my family due to reasons previously discussed and due to some other shit. <laughs> I did not get along well with my peers. So, new experience. Um, so yeah, I, I disappeared into books continuously, uh, video games. That's part of the reason why I love streaming is it's like, it's all the things I love in one. Like I love to sing. And I love to do my weird voice acting. Whatever the voice may be. I love to entertain. And I have loved games for as long as I can fucking remember. So it's like everything I love rolled into one. It is like my passion. If I could find a way to do this full time for a living like dog, that would be heaven for me. So basically, dismemberment mode is dead space. <laughs> but am I done with this game? I don't. I don't know. I've got. We're we're not at a point where I can spend money on games, but I also have a PlayStation credit card, and I do believe I've got enough there to be able to afford uh, Resident Evil Four, and I might do that because I've. Fucking love Resident Evil 4. It is a classic, and to see that that modern like I've heard good things about the remake, and to see that with ray tracing and all that, dog, that might just be my shit. Also, I still want to do horror games for fucking Halloween. You know what I'm saying? It's spooky. It's spooky month. We got to do spooky games. But there's also free to play games that are horror themed on Steam. It's just my computer's been a bitch lately. <laughs> So I might do that. I don't. I don't. I really know what to do. I don't know. We got to figure it out. We got to figure it out by tomorrow. That's our deadline. We got to figure it out by tomorrow. Oh, as far as the team on uh, Extra Life too, I once like back in the okay. So back in the Disney Yizo. I got 20... a lot of issues with my vision, probably due to mutation and harm to my head. Pumpkin panic, lol. Pumpkin panic. Let me look that up. Back in the day, I was a part of a community called Prepare for the Mediocre. 
Uh, and I loved most of the people that were involved in that. I felt really close to them. And then some of them turned out to be douchebags, which sucked. But, uh... But, uh... Like, I wanted to... When, Pum when Prepare for the Mediocre disbanded, I wanted to rebuild it, but I wanted to rebuild it with, like... There were those of us who were leaders in the community, and it was all about... <clears throat> Those of us who were leaders getting, you know, expanded among our Discord community. And, like, I didn't particularly like that. I liked the idea of just making the Discord community a place where everyone could come and hang out and make friends and support the people you like and don't support the people you don't care about, whatever. But, like, where there was no central focus, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. I've got my own Discord community I call Freak Nation. And that's kind of what I want to do there is, like, everyone can join and just make friends, and if people support you, chill, and if not, that's also chill, like, you don't have to get along with everyone, that's fine, you know what I'm saying, like, this kind of looks like Don't Starve Together, but a weird version. So yeah, I, a game I wanted to play, want to play, but like, I can't afford to shell out the cash. Is that Graveyard Keeper? I fucking love Graveyard Keeper, and I bought it on my phone. Send me the link if you have a community Discord. Force Bunny him on the Extra Life server, as I think you've seen. Uh, ba 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 ba. I mean, it should be down there. If you scroll down a little bit, there should be a link to the Discord. But yeah, Graveyard Keeper. If you haven't seen it, dog. Oh my beavis. Oh my beavis. I fucking love Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Keeper is like a, uh, fuck, what's that game? That farming game that everybody loves? Invite invalid. Well, fuck, I was afraid of that. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me get a new code for you. Oh, wait. Uh, well, shit, I lost it. What do you say it was? Frosty something? People call it Stardew Valley, but with spookies. Yeah, that's yeah, Stardew Valley, but it's a graveyard instead of a farm. It can get pretty intense. It's, it's fucking great. I love it. Oh, oh, you're talking about the game. On why I extra life if you look there. Seven days. Never, never expire, you dick. Oh. Eh. You know what? Okay, let's do 30 days then. Whatever. Just fucking. Okay, yeah. Just give me a goddamn link, you dick. <laughs> Expires in 30 days. Cool. What's the fucking link? <laughs> ah! Old person. I uh, yes. <laughs> this is why I have fucking mods. <laughs> but Dip's not here because Dip refuses to watch horror games. Which, fair. I'm not gonna fucking give her shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, she doesn't like horror games, it's fine. Okay, so let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Can I do this? Will that work? Okay. I was trying to... Uh, uh, copy. Copy to clipboard. Okay, so let's... Damn it! Phone! Don't fuck with Talos! Okay, so let's go back here. And we'll say... Invite. And then I should be able to... Uh, this... <laughs> okay, look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I sent you an invite. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that worked. 
I'll be honest with you, 90% of the time, Dip manages my fucking Discord for me. Because I'm not great at fucking... I, I'm, I'm funny. That's my job. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I might I might see if I have enough money on my credit card to buy Resident Evil 4 and do that for the rest of the month. I fucking love Resident Evil 4. It is one of my favorites. I am really looking forward also to the Silent Hill 2 remake. Uh, I know Silent Hill 2 is like the fan favorite. Personally, I prefer the first one by a lot. But, you know. Yeah, no. Like, 2 was not bad. Got a post in Food Prawn. I haven't posted in Food Prawn in a while. What is the last thing I posted in Food Prawn? Curious. Alright, I made salad. The tomatoes can be cut better. Fuck you, Tamaya. Getting image. God damn. Mm. That was chili mac, and my chili mac is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot my wife posted the Haribu Fruity Boosy. Ooh, ooh, my pasta bakes. I made one of those in a while. I, I haven't made my... I Okay, I don't like spaghetti sauce store-bought. At all, so I started making my own store bought, or sorry, my own homemade spaghetti sauce. I just haven't had time to do it in forever, and I far prefer my my personal spaghetti sauce over anything store bought. <sighs> Look at my food. Scrolling, scrolling, scroll. Ooh! Was ist das? Uh, looks like egg or rice noodles with maybe. Fuck you, Google. I've been talking to you. Pet Thai. What is pet? Uh... No, it does not look like dusty poop mixed with worms. It looks good as fuck. I'm very curious now. So rice and noodles is pet Thai. Is under image. You. This was definitely rice noodles. Okay, I gotta look up pad Thai. I've just started experimenting with uh, Asian dishes. Uh, for instance, I've just I just nailed down a fried rice recipe. And that shit, the last time I made it, came out fucking store-bought. It was so good. I still maintain. If you are a single young man, I still maintain that uh, getting a two-person membership to... Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! I threw the box away. What the fuck are they called? Uh, that place that sends you the recipes. Comes in a big green box. It's a food service. God damn it, brain! More. Oh, God, brain! You're hello fresh. Hello fresh, yes, 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 yes. So, what you do is, if you're a single dude, one of the best ways to get better in the dating scene is to get the two-person member membership to HelloFresh. It's a little pricey, but it's cheaper that way. And save your recipe cards and just practice your skills on, you know, because they go step by step and they teach you how to cook. That's how I've learned a lot of the shit I've learned that I've worked in my regular recipes. Mm. Is just, you just practice those skills, you keep your recipe cards, and then, like, when you have a date, you're like, nah, dog, don't worry about it. I'm going to cook for you. And you fucking do one of those recipes you practice, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you get 
whatever your chosen gender is over and you can cook a fresh meal yourself from scratch that is fucking delicious and boom dog you are in that is some shit right there you know what i'm saying that is like fucking boom instant the only fucking time that might not work as well is if they already know how to cook that is it other than that you are fucking in you are in like fucking flynn you are gold baby Look at my price desperity in food prong. I think I've made something similar to Pad Thai before. Sorry, I'm reading right now about what Pad Thai is. Oh, is that shrimp though? Because if so, then no. Thai noodles stir fry with a sweet, savory, sour sauce scattered with crushed peanuts. Uh, bean sprouts and garlic shrubs, okay. $20 chicken. for the shrimp. Chicken. Ugh. I would do chicken, personally. I don't like seafood, though. Also, I love chicken because, like, I've been hitting the gym and trying to get in shape for Lex. So I can be there for her longer. But also, like, I've been going to the gym and jogging to try to get in better shape for Lex so I don't die early on her. But also, like, you know, you, if you start going to the gym and whatnot, you want to look like you go to the gym, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to get, like, fucking get a little muscle tone going on shit. So, like, I've been cooking a lot more chicken because chicken is very low fat but very high protein. So it's good for muscle growth without getting the, you know. So I've been, like, busting my ass on learning new chicken recipes. Oh! Real quick, real good chicken recipe, because uh, it's very quick, it's very easy. If you want to do like, you, and it's very versatile, you can do it for multiple different dishes. If you want to do a shredded chicken dish for anything, if you want to do shredded chicken tacos, if you want to do like shredded chicken for like an Alfredo and pasta, here's what you do. You get your chicken breast, right? Season it all over with salt and pepper. Uh, if you're going to do like a more Mexican inspired dish, Nick do w -W -W. Sazon. If you're going to do a more Italian-inspired, you get one of those Italian mixes where it's got the garlic and all that. I also like to add a little bit of garlic powder because I'm obsessed with garlic. That's just me. Uh, you heat a little bit of olive oil in a pan on medium-high heat. Once that's set, you throw your chicken in there, you cover it, you cook it for four minutes, flip it, cover it, cook it for another four minutes, and then you... Uh, that's a medium-high heat, like a seven or eight. You then put a cup of stock in there whether it's vegetable stock or chicken stock doesn't particularly matter throw that shit in there cover it let it sit for 10 minutes with the stock in there to like just poach it's going to absorb a lot of that moisture it's going to get very juicy very you know then you take your chicken remove it from your pan place it on your cutting board and let it rest for a few minutes that's when you're going to drain your pan and then do your your taco seasoning whatever you know taco seasoning plus water whatever however you like to season your taco meat put it in there then you go notes. back to your chicken take two forks and go across the the muscle fiber of the chicken with the fork and shred it just keep shredding it you're gonna get like nice juicy little shreds of the chicken while your fucking taco seasoning heats up now me personally what i like to do is i like to take uh like a yellow onion and two poblano peppers dice that shit up nice and fine and i pre-fry that then i move it to a plate put it on top of paper towel to drain some of that olive oil off then i do the chicken cooking and then when my chicken's resting i put my taco seasoning in the pan with the onion and poblanos to, so that's all absorbing your taco seasoning and all that fun stuff shred my chicken down throw the chicken back into the pan with the taco seasoning cover that shit let it simmer for like Five, six minutes, dude, you got some fire chicken taco seasoning. Fire chicken taco meat. It's fucking beauty. Fucking people love it. It's delicious. Throw that shit in there. Uh, if you want to make that shit really fire, you take a head of romaine lettuce, shred it, like cut it very thin so you get the nice shredded lettuce style things. Uh, then you're going to take a lime. Uh, when you do your sweet do you onion... Do know how to make cat rice balls, though? No. I know how to make uh, pico de gallo, which is what I was... <laughs> uh, before you throw your, your sweet onion and your poblano peppers into the 
pan for this recipe, you take them and separate like a quarter of each out into a bowl. Throw two Roma two Romano tomatoes diced into that bowl, and then season that with salt and pepper, some sazon, and then you zest a lime and quarter it. Lime zest and lime juice to taste, and you got your fucking pico de gallo. Take your chicken meat when you're done, throw it in a tortilla with some lettuce and some pico de gallo on top, and you've just made excellent fucking tacos. Does not take anywhere near as much time or effort as it sounds. It's like maybe a 30 minute recipe, and it, it's fucking fire. It's fucking fire, and it will make people think you are a way better cook than you are. Yo, what is that? That's French fries and. Let me see. French fries. It looks like a club sandwich. That shit looks. That looks fire, too. That looks fucking. Oof. IT was so good. Okay. I'm not going to try it because I'm pretty sure I would fuck them up and they would look terrible, but those rice cats are fucking adorable. <laughs> that is that is oddly cute. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Scooby-Doo on shrooms. <laughs> I also like their username. I want one. Right? I'm not, no, yeah. <laughs> I like the little one on the side because you can clearly see the seafood wrap and it's being done like fur and that's adorable. But yeah, like Lex also loves to cook and she has some great recipes too. Like she makes amazing lasagna rolls. Uh, while I know her recipe, I don't like to do it because it's her thing. She does a taco lasagna that is fucking fire. I got another creature food, one sec. But yeah, I do most of our cooking because I'm just, I'm the one who's here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Gosh, she's still at work. I hate this. We started closing later and like, I hate it for two reasons. One. I want my fucking wife. I don't like her not being home. I miss her. Two, she has work early in the morning and she's being stuck at her lower paying job. To, it's just, uh, whatever. Qu oh my god, that is adorable. Oh, the one at the top of the eyes. Oh my god. That was a chocolate. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my god! <laughs> Quasan dragons! Chocolate powdered almonds. That is fucking. That is, how do they do the eyes, though? I'm, I'm assuming, like, one of those, uh. God, that's fucking adorable. The big one's my favorite. That is fucking just the cutest fucking thing. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. I love it to a disturbing degree. <laughs> Prob inedibilized TBH. Wait, we're partners with Wizards of the Coast? Sorry, I, uh, I'm looking at the uh, alerts in the Astral Life server. Uh... 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't understand any of that. I will have to read that when I'm sober. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I still, I don't get magic lately. They got the Doctor Who set, they've got a Transformer set. Like, what the fuck? I haven't played Magic in forever. I, still, I don't have the money to keep up with it, sadly. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Although, well, Duder's got a badass costume. I like the extra life Ghostbusters logo. That's pretty dope. Anyway. Anyway. But yeah, I agree. Fucking Callisto Protocol is getting a little bit low. To, uh, not low. <laughs> a little bit old. We might want to switch games. That's just. I'm poor. <laughs> I love horror games. Dip doesn't. I miss Dip. She'll come back eventually. Probably in November. My Halloween costume is an angry wolf head with a trench coat. I posted more in food. I I wish I had more free time. I me and Lex briefly My before LLT. before life Day went to shit. Tea. Before life went to shit, me and Lex had gotten into, uh... I'm coming to get you, Barbara. We'd gotten into doing cosplay, and, like, I would love to do, like, uh... Some cosplay shit for Halloween. I just don't have time to do it right now. I fucking love those croissant dragons. In back, yari. Oh, to be rice animals smothered in Japanese curry. Oh, my God, I love the bear. Oh, that fucking bear. <laughs> Fucking bear soaking in the broth. Oh, that's fucking adorable. What? 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 I'm talking. Yes. Pain in the ass. I mean, the ducks are cute, cute too, but nothing tops that fucking bear. Partly because it reminds me of Ronma's dad, Ronma and half. <laughs> Cat burger. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty tight too. I'm suddenly very glad one of my daughters is not in my Discord. Because she would go ape shit for these these cat cookies. She one of my daughters is very artsy craftsy. She has a lot of uh What's that shit? Where you take the the yarn and you do the needles and you crocheting? Is that I think it's crochet. She does a lot of crochet work. <clears throat> she takes after me and Lex. She's very artistic. She's one of the ones that's not biologically mine. She's very artistic and takes after me and Lex with terms of all the the, the artistic shit. Also, she takes after me and being a massive smartass, which sucks because I get yelled at constantly for her jokes and like I didn't fucking make them. It's not my fucking fault. Please. Granted, it sounds like something I would have said, but that's not the fucking point. I didn't fucking say it. I don't deserve to get in trouble for this. But she loves baking, and she would fucking love those cookies. Tiny Kirby's pretty cute, kid too. Ah. Uh, cookie cutters, lol. <laughs> fucking might. Like, she, seriously, she would fucking dig the shit out of these cat cookies. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end point of stream where Talos is drunk and just fucking bullshits with the audience about whatever. <laughs> I post these streams to YouTube afterwards for shits and giggles. No one, no one watches them. No one, no one watches them. But still, fun. You just oh. hop in the corner. I want to see fun cookie shapes. Let's let's, let's Google that. Shh! I'm talking to the internet, not you. 
Come here, Shitstain. Come here, Shitstain. Uh, I think she's about to go into heat. I think that's why she's being such a butt. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Are these fucking... Yep, ninja bread men. I like them. <laughs> it's, it's gingerbread men cookie cutters designed like they were doing martial arts attacks. And I, I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the fuck out of it. No one gives a fuck about your Christmas trees, bitch. That's some basic ass bullshit. All right, nobody gives a fuck about that. Come on now, come on now, be more interesting. I see a pokeball in that set. They're coming. Oh, is that a Triforce? That's a motherfucking Triforce. That's Majora's Mask. Legend of Zelda cookie cutters, Navi, Rupee, Majora's Mask. Triforce, Hylian Shield, and Breath of something. Yep, she's going to eat. Pain in the ass. Mario cookie cutters. That's pretty fun. We got a question mark block. Uh, one of the little fish duties. Head <laughs> duty. Anyway. Jurassic Dinosaur. Except for most of these aren't from the Jurassic period. But anyway, there's a Stegosaur, Triceratops, and T-Rex. Oh, they got Among Us cookie cutters. <laughs> dig it. Dig it. I haven't played Among Us in a while. Maybe we should do like a group Among Us stream one time. We have to like actually find a time when we could all be online. Night Before Christmas cookie cutters. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Oh, wow! I see a Mickey Mouse cookie cutter! What's some random other shit? Barbara is scared. They're coming to get you... I love that fucking movie. I love a lot of the, the night of movies, uh, with a few exceptions. Let's see. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Let's go through the list. Just to get Talos' completely unwarranted list Stop of good Living Dead movies. I, she deserved it? Alright. Let's see if we can find a list. I don't want to fucking... They're coming to get around. I should do a riff of Night of the Living Dead. I haven't done a riff in a while, and Night of the Living Dead is copyright free due to just really dumb shit. Really fucking dumb shit. I forget the exact reason, but like, yeah, the Night of the Living Dead is copyright free just for the dumbest fucking reasons. Dead. Daily is one of my daily doses of funny. Ah, uh, that's right. On YouTube, love those. Okay, let's see that. Yeah, that's Night of the Living Dead. Fuck, dog. What I want to? Uh, oh no, this is a list. Hold up, hold. Up. Super five films. Okay, so Night of the Living Dead. Fucking all-time classic. Fucking social commentary on racism and other shit. And how dumb and pointless that shit is. All the... For those of you who don't know, the George A. Romero films are all supposed to be social commentaries on aspects of our, our culture in different ways. Night of the Living Dead was largely racism and how that shit breaks down in an a, a, uh, emergency, as well as how it not breaking down can lead to calamities within an emergency. Uh, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, let's see, Dawn is Dawn's the shopping mall, right? Yeah, so so that one's the one in the shopping mall. Dawn is the uh, is the so, social <laughs> the hype. But Dawn is the 
fucking brain fart. Dawn is a social commentary on consumerism and draws a lot of parallels with the zombies walking through a shopping mall and how, you know, isn't that different than what really is going on today with, like, living people? Great film. Day of the Dead is a social commentary on, uh, like, hierarchical power structures and how that shit can go south. Slightly more complex. I'm drunk. Fuck off. <laughs> Land of the Dead is trash. It's trash. Land of the Dead is straight trash. Land of the Dead is the first of the George A. Romero films I do not care for. Even though that is also the one that involves Simon Pegg and his writing buddy, whose name I forget, Edgar Wright. They're both in the film as in a cameo role, it's, it, but Land of the Dead is trash. Land of the Dead's trash. Diary of the Dead, I've heard mixed reviews on. I personally loved. Uh, Diary of the Dead is a social commentary on modern culture and uh, this, basically. Like social media and how everything's got to be recorded and everything has to be posted online. And it's not real if it's not posted online, that sort of shit. And fucking, it's beauty. It's, it's uh, an individual going through the zombie apocalypse. They were filming a student movie when it happens. And they start to go around at documenting everything through a camera. And posting it all online as it happens whenever they can find internet access. And saying it's so people know, but it's really because looking at everything, all the horrors they're seeing through the lens of a camera makes it less real. Because even though they're there in the moment Posted watching this shit happen, I also like uh, even though they're sitting there watching it all happen in real time, seeing it through the lens of a camera it gives it like a layer of separation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really there. And it, it makes it easier for them to deal with. That's what's really going on. It's, it's fucking beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. I love it. I love Diary of the Dead. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Survival of the Dead, I think that's the second one I don't like. The former co Colonel and current Sergeant Nicotine Crockett. After a failed raid, Crockett deserts his post with fellow soldiers Kenny, Francisco, and Tomboy. An island run by two families who are feuding over whether zombies should be kept. Yeah, I hated that one. I thought it was dumb. But it's basically two two feuding families on an island. One of them thinks they should keep the zombies alive in case they can find a way to make them normal. Plus, these are still the people they loved. Yada, yada, yada. The other one thinks they should kill them and everything's breaking down along those those lines. It's, it's, it's not worth checking out. And then Twilight of the Dead... Uh, Twilight of the Dead was it, it, Romero had an idea for how the movie was supposed to, how uh, like a conclusion for the franchise uh, unfortunately he died before he could see it through uh, so Twilight of the Dead is the final movie slash comic because people have argued over what form it should take but it is, it is basically other people taking the idea Romero had for how the franchise should end and making a new movie with it. It is not out yet, and I don't know anything this about it. This is very autistic of you, going over these. I do stuff like this a lot. I, yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I'm very passionate about certain things. And the, the Living Dead movies are one of them, because, like, with the exception of, like, two, I fucking love this franchise. And I love, the, I love the idea that he's using zombies as a way to view societal norms. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's dissecting real shit in society through the lens of a zombie apocalypse. And so they come off, if you want them to be, they are just dumb zombie movies that are fun to watch. But if you want to really dig into the mythology and really look at them, they are way fucking deeper. And it's just, it's fucking beautiful. It's like, the man was a genius. Like, mad props to George A. Romero. You are... F I, I don't think he got nearly enough credit. He did get a, a damn fine amount of credit, and I'm sure he was not hurting for money through his life, but, like, still, he deserved to be up there with, like, fucking Sam Raimi and fucking Big Name. The man was fucking genius. It was fucking brilliant. These films were amazing. I struggle with remembering names. I do, too, a lot. 
it, it's something I gained an ability to do in later years. Because for me, largely, like, actors and directors, I'm like, I don't want to know your fucking name. You know what I'm saying? Like, I care about the character, not necessarily you. You want down, bub? You want down? Oh, come here, fluffers. Love you. I love you, bubby. But, like, there's a handful of names that stuck with me. Uh, Keith David. No small part because the Saints Row. But George A. Romero is just fucking sad. Sam Raimi, too, because of Evil Dead. But, like, George A. Romero is fucking... He is brilliant. How did you feel about Hurricane Ian? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember which one Ian was. There's been too many lately. Thanks, global warming, but I'm very much Central Florida, and uh, typically for us, hurricanes are just annoying. <laughs> like, please stop. Just go away. I'm fucking bored. Just please leave. I, wait, Ian was the one, what, two years ago, I think? If it's the one I'm thinking of, we had areas of our... It fucked us. It's part of the reason why we're in such a bad financial state right now, because... I think that's the one that flooded Fort Myers. We had... Uh, They're coming to get you, Barbara. Which one flooded? If it's Hurricane Ian I'm thinking of, like me and Lex, she's being forced to do a lot of, okay, Hurricane Ian 2022, I think that was it. Adolia. Uh, Lex, Lex, is, was Adolia. Lex has a real job now, she's a physical therapy assistant. And amusingly, with the extra life thing, she she takes care of kids who have like pre-existing medical conditions, make it hard for them to move, and get some exercise they need to function as you know as best they can. Um, but we also both deliver pizzas, and Ian, if it's the one I'm thinking of, in our delivery grid, one of the main roads we travel fucking flooded. So some of our deliveries that would take 15 minutes to just drive down this road and fucking pop off real quick. We're taking 45 minutes because we had to drop all the way fucking around this area that flooded out. And there was one area in one of the neighborhoods where there's a side street that you don't have to use, but it just makes, makes things easier, and Google always takes you that way. That bitch flooded out and half the fucking road collapsed. Like, literally, like, the earth underneath the road, you could see where the storm had washed it out, and then within, like, a day or two after the storm, the asphalt started falling, and so that road got closed off. It's still closed off. Like, it was fucking crazy. Like, holy shit, this thing did some damage. Adalia was nuts. Also, we lost power for like two, three days. But then again, we refused to fucking bury our power lines in Orlando, which, you know, dumb. Fort Myers suffered. See, that's the thing, is it's like, we always feel bad about complaining at all, because we're, we're Central Florida, we're the greater Orlando area. And, like, since we're in inland, we do suffer some, some bullshit, but it's never as bad, like, the coasts get fucking battered, and by the time it hits us, it's slowed down, right? So we don't, we don't really get it that bad. And so it's always, you feel kind of bad bitching, because you're like, them motherfuckers. Like they, their roads are underwater. Like they're taking canoes to the grocery store. Like, gonna DM this on Discord so off record. Like I feel bad fucking complaining. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, I think it was Ian. I'm looking at pictures of Ian from Florida, and I'm like, I think that was the one that fucked us up. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we're... 
if you have any idea where it is, we're near UCF. So we're we're dead ass. We're like a little ways away from Universal and Disney. We're dead ass in the middle of the state. So the worst shit, like even like we had areas roads flooded out. We had roads collapsing and the earth being pulled out from underneath them because of the storm. And it was it was pretty fucking bad here. But like, but like compared to a lot of parts of Florida, like we didn't get dick. Like it was worse here than we have seen in literally decades from a storm but also compared to other parts we didn't get dick so it's like it's bad but I don't want to complain because like y'all have it so much worse than us and like mm, I don't know I just feel bad complaining I will say I do love Orlando. Cause Katrina Poe. Dude, Katrina. Katrina made me want to pull my fucking hair out. <laughs> okay. We're going back a ways now. During Katrina, I had. I was verifying in my head, but yes, I had one kid. This is how far back this was, because my oldest is now 20. So that was, we had Charlie, I forget the middle one, and then Katrina. Fucking Charlie wrecked shit in our area. Uh, we lived on Goldenrod. Me and my ex-wife lived on Goldenrod at the time. And, like, our our apartment complex, like, over on Goldenrod... Charlie spawned tornadoes up and down the road. And there was literally like a dual steel I-beam um, billboard where the I-beams spun around each other and then pulled down over the power line. So we lost... It's because tornadoes were going all up and down Goldenrod. Like there was a Sam's Club down the road and fucking tornadoes were bouncing off the roof of that bitch. Like Sam's was fucked. So like... I, I distinctly remember having to get groceries after... Fucking, uh, whatever storm I just mentioned. Charlie. And, like, we're driving down Highway 50, major road in our area. And as we're driving down the road... Oh, fuck. As we're driving down the road, it's fucking pitch black. All the street lights are out. <laughs> there is no light fucking anywhere. And then all of a sudden we see Walmart, who has their internal generators. And it's... <laughs> We never realized it until this time, but apparently that Walmart was on top of a hill and it looked like fucking the light of God was shining down on a Walmart. It's like, wow, that's some dystopian shit. Guess hell's come early. Fuck. <laughs> but so Charlie did a lot of damage in our area. Katrina, however, Katrina just... Fuck, if I'm, if I'm remembering the storm's names right, Katrina just, like, shat on us. I'm this cause worried if this is a bad question, but... How was September 11th for you? But yeah, Katrina just fucking shat on us. She just fucking, just, oh my god, just either kill us or go the fuck away. I don't care which, but you're taking entirely too long, and I am fucking bored. Uh, September 11th for me sucked. Again, still in Florida. I've lived in Florida my entire life. I love Florida. I don't really plan on moving. I hate the cold. Um, but I was managing a pizza hut. On September 11th, and I just installed a new car stereo in my car. So, like in the mornings, I like to, I would wake up. Well, like mornings, I'd wake up at like three, go outside, smoke a cigarette in my car, and listen to my brand new stereo. So on September 11th, I woke up, went out to my car, hit the accessory switch for my brand new car stereo I just installed, and I'm puffing on my cigarette. Like, talking, talking, talking. A plane flew into the Pentagon. You have my attention, sir. <laughs> and so, <laughs> uh, went into work that day, and we were just fucking hammered because everyone's glued to their fucking TV, right? Well, my printer broke. And so I got to get my phone people to, like, write down all the fo all the orders because our computers were fucking fried without the printer because that's just how our system worked. They would take the order on the phone and then punch it through and it would print out a receipt. And that receipt was what our make table used to make the order 
as well as what our drivers use to deliver the order. Well, that system's fried because I can't fuck that printer's what broke. I can't fucking print. And we're just fucking devastatingly busy. And so I'm having my phone people write everything down and then run out those sheets over to make table periodically so they can make the pizzas and get them out. And I'm calling my boss like, yo, you need to get the fuck in here now. <laughs> like, I can't fucking deal with this shit. And so he comes in and fixes the printer, hangs out for a little bit, and then leaves. And then on top of that, I had a Muslim couple come in that night, and they ordered a personal pan cheese. One of my drivers had made himself a personal pan cheese, but with pepperoni, but the pepperoni was underneath the cheese. And he didn't ring that shit up. So I cut it, and I gave it to the Muslim couple without realizing there was fucking pepperoni on it. So they ate pork for the first time in their lives. They were less than pleased. She was vomiting profusely, and I was apologizing my ass off because I didn't fucking know. <laughs> it, it was just, it was a shit show. It was terrible. And then, like, after I got off work, I went over to the, the house of this girl I was sleeping with, and I was like, yo, do you think they have the footage? Because I haven't seen anything. And, like, you know, you're curious, right? So she turns on the news, and they're, just, they're showing the plane hit the Twin Towers on fucking repeat. And it's like, okay, I was curious and I wanted to see it, but at this point, this is morbid as shit. You can stop showing this any fucking time you want. Like, god damn. But it was on like a 30-second repeat cycle. This plane just slamming into the fucking building over and over and over. Like, it was a very fucked up time. Ah, oh, younger days before my first wife. When I was still so young and innocent. Oh, a wee little Talos was I. There is only one recording of the first plane. No, yeah, they like, like they literally threw that shit on uh, repeat. I'm not even kidding. Like, she... she uh, this girl put it on put on the news and they were just showing that over and over. Being recorded and they caught it. it was fucking, like... At a certain point, you're like, dog, even I feel bad. Like, please stop. <laughs> please stop. No, no, the first plane hit wasn't released till later. You were seeing the second. No, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, because the first building was already on fire. Like, we were watching the second, we were watching the plane hit. The first building was already clearly on fire. It was, it was, I mean, it was fucking, it was crazy. It was fucking... I didn't get the rampant I'm Islam. I'm on moving. Kinda want to go to the UK. I didn't get the rampant Islamophobia that everyone else got. But like, no, yeah, it was it was a fucking crazy time. I've never gotten that whole thing though. Where like, oh my god, they attacked us. Like, no, no, these guys attacked us. That's not fucking anyone of Islamic faith. That's these guys. That's I don't know if we we can't. We can't even move states, honestly, because my ex-wife would have a say. Because two of my until two of my kids turn eighteen, so we can't really go anywhere Not if we wanted to. Just a group but like, planes. but like, I wouldn't mind moving to like Sweden or Denmark or one of those more socialist countries, because that aligns more with my political beliefs. But also, they're also hugely racist. So like. <laughs> But like, I don't know though, I love Florida. Yes, very, very racist, very white supremacist, but also very socialist, uh, UBIs, all the fun shit, and a higher level of happiness than most countries on the planet. So like, but also like, I don't know, moving doesn't seem like a great solution either. I want to start my own political party. We are the pirates. We will take this country back because fuck the rich. Aye, laddies! But, like, I love Orlando. I love. I seriously I love my hometown. I love I drive. I love going out there and just chilling. We can't afford to do it. We're, like, I drive is where tourist traps are born. There are so many fucking escape rooms out there that are dope. There's little mm-hmm. hidden bars that are dope. I fucking, I, I love my you town, and I love, yeah. Well, I, specifically Orlandonian. 
because I do love the Keys. I do love other parts of Florida I've been to, but like this is home. Orlando is home. It's this very weird blend of like suburb tourist trap and everything's like within five minutes of each other you know what i'm saying like it, this is home i love this weird di- diaspora ooh, 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 ooh. The, the weird part about orlando is like you know we've got the theme park tourist trap we've got the fucking generic tourist traps that on i drive we've got the suburbs we've got the rednecks we've got like fuck the ghetto we got everything all around us, and I fucking I love it. I love the diaspora. I love how everything's just so. <sniffs> I just wish it was more integrated, and that people could enjoy it more and had more money. You know, I'm saying like we weren't getting exploited financially and whatnot. We've got but I I love dishes. my city. I love my city. I hate seafood, so I'm fine to not be on the coast. But I love my city. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, okay, so my brother was a huge surfer, and I'm like. But you live in Florida, like, we don't have waves. What the fuck are you talking about? Coco's okay as far as the beach is concerned, but it's not really surf territory. <laughs> like... Literally. My like my parents live in Bradenton, so, like, they've got beaches out there, but again, it's like, it's not, it's not surf beaches. It's, I guess it's nice. I don't know. If you really want the touristy beaches, Long to me, that's, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll catch Frosty up. If you really want the nice beaches, to me, that's like, that's up in the Panhandle. That's like Panama City and, or, or far south. The Keys, Miami, they have nice beaches. But the rest of our beaches are like, man, they're okay, it's a beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, you're not going to get huge waves. You're not going to get particularly clean waters. It's just it's the fucking beach. It's the beach. It's fine. It is what it is. But like, I'm not a big beach fan anyway. Though I like I love my tourist traps. I love Orlando. I love Orlando with a passion. I wish I could spend so much more time on I drive because I fucking love it out there. Haku, that can't be comfortable. My dog is laying on top of one of the kid's backpacks, and the way he's laying, like, his ass is up, but his front paws are almost fully extended to hold himself up on top of the backpack. A dog. Like, that can't, that can't be comfy. May want to end soon. Think you were going to back. No, yeah, it's, it's my quitting time. I was just, we were in the middle of a conversation, so, like... You know, I don't like to leave in the middle of a conversation. I like to let the conversations play. And also, I always wait for Lex to get home before I go to bed anyway, so. Fuck it, finish the conversation out, you know what I'm saying? I think Lex is popping home now, though. Let me check my life through. Let me cyberstalk my wife! Yeah, she's coming home now. So, yeah. Uh, we, uh, Fridays I usually take off because We the... could talk on VC on Discord if you want. I can also stay muted if you want. No, you good. Uh, Fridays I'm usually offline awesome. because middle child is uh, usually got football and I got to pick her up from the game afterwards. But they don't have a game this week. And she's going out to some kind of birthday dinner or something for a friend, but she's got rides arranged, so I'll be able to stream. So we will probably be live tomorrow night, which is rare for Fridays. Uh, this video, of course, will be up on YouTube. Uh, for anyone who wants to suffer through it, that's, that's up to you. you. You know, have fun. I don't give a shit. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna. I think I am gonna try to put Resident Evil Four on my credit card. It's a terrible idea. I shouldn't do it, but I really want to play it. And I don't think I've got another playthrough of Callisto Protocol in me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate your beautiful, beautiful, shining faces. You beautiful, beautiful mammals. And until next time, my friends, remember, as always, to take care of yourselves, look out for one another, and have a great day. Bye. Good night, my friends. Good night. Buttons. I don't know how well this works on the PlayStation. Here's a stop broadcast button. Now go. Okay, bye.